Hello, everybody, and welcome to GDQ Hotfix, specifically the first step. I'm Keyzron, and I am temporarily joined, as always, by my co-host, Jay Hobbs, who sounds like he needs a little bit of rest. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somehow this week, Keys and I, despite being on completely opposite ends of the country, are both sick as dogs. Yep. <laughs> it's really rough. Uh, so we were, I, I'm going to say this since it was tweeted out at one point, like we were supposed to do the Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons today. Uh, and if you are excited for that, you're still going to get some uh, Oracle of Seasons content later in the stream. Uh, but yeah, we, we had to kind of pivot because <laughs> neither of us is feeling 100% and I am very not feeling good. Uh, so Keys, what are you going to be doing today for us? Yeah, so before I get into what I'm going to do, uh, anyone who hasn't seen the show before or needs a refresher, the first step is all about showing all of you at home how easy it is to pick up speed running. Usually Hobbs and I will do that by either a semi-improv race where we will play a game for about eight hours or so on our own stream, uh, take whatever knowledge we get from our playthrough, whether we beat it or not, and race each other on Thursday. Uh, every now and again, we will do a complete improv race where we haven't touched the game at all. And the first time we play it is on the stream and we race it. But since Hobbs isn't feeling too great, and since I feel, you know, well enough, um, I'm actually going to show you a slightly different format of the show. Uh, Hobbs has done this once or twice so far whenever I had to dip out. But uh, I'm going to be learning Brilliant Diamond right now. I have notes provided by Corvime, a wonderful runner from the Pokemon community. I'm going to be doing a slightly easier route. Um, there's, there's two routes for Brilliant Diamond right now. One that uses a traded Kadabra, but is harder because you need to worry about, you know, uh, obedience, disobedience. And there's one that has one tough spot, but becomes really easy. I'm doing a route where I'm going to go into a Scyther and kind of just, you know, go from there. And you will see me looking at notes a lot, because like I said, I've never actually speed ran this before. This is my first attempt at playing it fast in a non-randomized fashion. And I just want to show you all that it's that easy. I already have my Piplup ready. It's not the greatest thing on the planet, but it'll be good enough to get us through the game. And I just want to show you all that you can pick up at any point in the time, at any point in time in the game, English is hard, uh, to learn how to play through the game fast. And like I said, I'm just going to be following the notes, uh, try to follow it as word for word as I can with making as little mistakes as possible. And I'm going to utilize that knowledge that I gain for future speed runs if I do decide to speed run the game. But yeah. Yeah. This is, <clears throat> yeah, th this is really fun because we've always, we've, Keys and I have talked about ways to do games that like would just be completely imbalanced if we race them because <laughs> keys has just you know an, an eternity <laughs> of uh pokemon knowledge over me uh, so it would be really hard for us to ever race a pokemon game even a brand new one but this gives us a chance to uh to show it off and same with like when i did hades before um you know quite a while ago now <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and so yeah th this should be really fun i am excited i haven't watched many speedruns of this game, especially glitchless. So I'm I'm excited to see how this goes. Yeah, and uh, because you brought up the category, and I don't think I necessarily brought it up. Yeah, I'm doing any percent glitchless. Anyone who's aware of the history of this game, uh, any percent is busted. You can finish it in like under 20 minutes, but we're not doing that. We're doing a pure glitchless run. I'm doing it on the current patch um, as well, which that eliminates a couple of possible glitches. And it also eliminates uh, a skip that you can do in the ice gym. So it's, it's going to be a Pokemon run in as pure of a form as possible. And yeah, before we get into it, uh, I want to bring up a couple of quick announcements. I uh, just want to remind everyone real quick, because AGDQ 2022 Online just ended and we are still in the month of January, um, all revenue after taxes that GDQ earns from subscriptions and bits for this entire month will be donated to PCF still. Uh, we've already hit 3.4 million and we could possibly get that 3.5 million folks. So if you want to drop a prime gaming sub your way or our way or, you know, cheer or anything like that, um, that's a good way to continue to support PCF. And then speaking of marathons, don't forget the Frost Fatales is from September 27th to March 5th. It's not that far off. It's only, you know, six weeks or so off. Um, if you... February. Wow, I said Mar I'm, I'm dumb. Um, 
Yeah, I sure did. Okay. Hey, so I'm sick. That's my excuse. But yeah, February 27th to March 5th. Um, you can do exclamation point FF in chat for more information, or you can also go to gamesonquick.com slash frame fatales, and you can just go to gamesonquick.com in general for a bunch of information, like different hot fix shows, um, you know, upcoming events, just a schedule of what's going on. But with that, I'm pretty much good to go. Yeah, so you're um, starting here, so that way we can just avoid you having to spend 20 minutes resetting around a starter, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I guess I'll, I'll let you count me down then. Yeah, um, let's get started in five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, so like I said, I, I have only played this in a fast fashion uh, randomized. I do not actually know how to speed run this in its non-randomized form. So this is going to be really interesting. And like I said, I have notes provided to me and I'm going to be constantly shifting my view just to make sure that I'm doing everything right. I'm probably going to hit a bunch of optional trainers. Um, probably not going to be the greatest run, but hey, your first runs usually aren't that great. It's just you got to you got to get the run done, get used to the game and you'll, you'll just get better with the more uh, with more runs. Yeah, that is, I, I think, especially with um, with <coughs> RPGs and, like, especially turn-based ones, spamming runs is really helpful for kind of getting it ingrained in your head. Like, okay, when are there about to be, like, a series of text boxes that I'm going to have to mash through? Like, when is that about to end so I can start moving immediately? Uh, mm -hmm. and let me get smoother at menus because the, a lot of the game is going to be menuing. Um, so being able to get smoother at that mostly just comes with uh, with practice and and time that uh, you can just do by spamming runs of the game. Yeah, and uh, also um, anyone who's familiar with runs of this game, uh, friendly reminder one, I'm not doing the fastest route. I'm doing a little bit more of a safer route for someone who uh, is just picking up the game as a speed run for the first time. But two, you might be able to hear music um, it's actually faster in this game to have music turned off, but for the sake of, you know, having having an enjoyable stream and since I'm not going for a competitive time right now, I'm just leaving the music on just so we can kind of have some chill tunes to listen to. The music in Gen 4 is really, really good, so... I will gladly take that time loss so we can all, uh... so we can all jam out to some good music. A pretty pretty standard fare uh, at the beginning so far. Uh, we're doing exactly what you do in pretty much every single Pokemon game. You get your Pokemon, they're asking if you want to nickname it. The professor's asking if you want to do stuff, and we're going to start running around soon. I just realized uh, I don't get to hear the music with the way we're, we're doing this. So I'm oh, like, no. oh, no. I'm just getting, I'm just getting the true speedrun experience. Here. Yeah, you're getting, That's, you're yeah. getting the true speedrun experience slowed down <laughs> While slightly. you're still getting all the time <laughs> yeah. lost, yeah. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, um, runs of this are down to like three and a half hours for Glitchless. Like it's, it's gone down pretty fast. Um, it's actually faster than, you know, some, some other newer games. Like it's, it's faster than like Sun and Moon. Um, I don't rec I think it's slightly slower than Sword and Shield is. Which feels like it's saying something. Sword and Shield is like a, a pretty long game, you know? Or like it, yeah. it's a pretty hefty run. Oh, slightly, slightly shorter, slightly shorter, not longer. I, oh, it's my slightly words. shorter. Oh. Yeah, yeah, my words are mixed up. Yeah, yeah sure. I, I'm trying, folks. <laughs> the, the downside of having a little bit of a brain fog. Right. Yeah, that's Which why is exactly we're both why here, because staring at the notes. Together, you and I make about three quarters of one brain right now. Yeah! <laughs> Which is like 25% more than our normal brains. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm not... Like, I've played Gen 4, the you know, not this remake version of it, but sure. the actual uh, Gen 4, but it's been so long. Like, I played it when they came out that I remember mm -hmm. very little. So do you remember kind of what's going on in this early portion here? Um, so... I'm trying to, like, take off my jacket, but I don't have enough time. <laughs> Darn. Um, so it's it's nothing too fancy that's going on right now. It's it's pretty much just the usual nonsense that you go through at the beginning of a run. Um, you're just, you know, letting your mom know you're going on an adventure. You're, you're getting permission, I guess. Um, 
there isn't anything too exciting that's happening right now. Uh, we, we do have to travel through a couple of cities before we get to do anything else. Um, we're, we are going to learn how to catch a Pokemon right here, though. We're going to learn how to catch a Bidoof. Exciting. Ooh. Standard, standard uh, catch tutorial. Yeah, this. so this game, I believe the remake's actually faster than... Uh, than the original, which Wait, doesn't really? usually happen too often yeah, in that Pokemon. Seems very, yeah, very surprising. But I guess the original was like the first gen with like 3D, right? So yeah, it had like that like 2.5D look or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And, and but like, in that way, like a lot of the kind of battle, you know, animations of like throwing your Pokemon yeah. and stuff aren't going to be too too different. Yeah, yeah. The big thing about like the originals compared to this, uh, e even like the originals compared to like the next generation, like Gen Five, uh, it was it was their first foray into using that engine or the DS. So it was very very slow. There there are videos on YouTube of using close combat on a Blissey and it taking like a minute and a half to die. <laughs> like, so like they they definitely optimized the engine a little bit, but. Even, so both the glitched category and glitchless categories, if I recall, are faster in the remakes than the original. <laughs> well, the glitch is, category is what, like 10 minutes or something? Like 12 yeah, it's minutes. Pretty, like it's really it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. You start the game out, the game off, you go into the void, which was a glitch in Gen 4. So it's kind of funny mm -hmm. that it's in this game as well. And then you basically just go to, straight to the Elite Four and bypass every trainer there. Yep. Yep. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, who needs to beat the Elite Four when you can instead just go put your name in the computer? <laughs> yeah, you basically just... are like every '90s movie ever. Like you, you're just hacking the system to put your name in the. All of yeah, the yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's pretty funny. That's a pretty standard fight from the looks of things. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna be looking at notes a lot. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and like share what knowledge I know of the series in the game. But as as it goes for the run, like I'm. I'm pretty fresh to this, so I'm probably going to say a lot of wrong stuff. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and be slow on this because I want to keep track of my stats here. Um, there's nothing wrong with slowing down a little bit and keeping track of what's going on if you are just learning. Yeah, so I'm curious, why Piplup for the starter? Is it going to get you through a bunch of the early game <coughs> or is it more just like, eh, it doesn't matter too much? Um, so if we're not doing the Scyther route, then you would want you would want uh, Chimchar. I'm, my guess, because I'm not sure on this, my, my guess is because you're giving the rival a grass Pokemon and you're using a wing attack Scyther later, that you're just doing it mainly for like type advantage. I, I could be wrong. That uh, that's, just, that's just kind of my initial guess on it. And this Piplup doesn't look too bad. So we have a neutral nature Piplup. So I don't have any one stat that's higher or lower than the other. Um, it's attack and special attack are on the lower side, but we have a lot of HP, apparently. Uh, anyone who doesn't know how stats work in Pokemon, uh, there's IVs. Um, I feel like I should probably heal. Um, there's IVs. Um, they go from 0 to 31. I'm also going to slow down here again and just make sure that I mark everything. So that's 13 attack, 13 defense, 13 special, Yeah, so he's, 13, he's marking 11. all the stats right now because there's a calculator in built into the notes, which is super cool. Yeah, it's help really him cool. determine exactly w like what he can expect his stats to be down the line and how that might affect certain strategies. Because like with Pokemon games, you're routing it such that you ideally want to know exactly how a fight is going to play out, assuming you don't get really bad, you know, miss luck or something like that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and you need to know stats down to the exact number to be able to, to know that for some of the, the closer fights. I can tell you right now, my special attack, which is probably Piplup's most important stat, is bad. Oh no. Yeah, it is, it is zero to six. Uh, it is it is literally my lowest stat, which is kind of funny. But that, that's okay. Six for the IV, which is uh, out of a potential 31, everybody. Yep. <laughs> so yep. that is very low. But it, we only we only need it for for you know almost two gyms, so it's it's not going to be too bad, I guess. Yeah, it'll, it'll be okay. Listen, it'll the, be fine. The early gyms are supposed to be easy. That's why everybody remembers having no problems with like Brock and stuff if they had a Charmander. Yeah. Or, yeah. Or <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny that uh, funny that you bring up Charmander and Brock because uh, 
you know, after after uh, after the Pokemon Crystal race at GDQ, you know, there's there's a lot of love for Bulbasaur, but uh, from a speedrun perspective, Charmander is still faster than Bulbasaur. <laughs> hey, unless unless you're going for that uh, that glitched route that needs the yeah, like sixteen yeah, yeah, yeah. you know power points mm -hmm. or whatever it is. <laughs> the glitch route's fun. Actually, technically, if you manipulate to, like, if you manipulate your Charmander, Charmander is still faster it. than Bulbasaur, but you need very specific stats for that. Ah, uh, okay. It's so silly. You know, I'm going to be perfectly honest. I accidentally hit B when he asked if the answer was yes or no, but it registered it as an A, so that should not have... Huh. Very, very good. <laughs> ding, ding, you're absolutely correct. <laughs> Is this the world of Pokemon? No. Correct! <laughs> oh yeah, remember chat, if you subscribe, you too can have access to Shenasaur until the end of the month. <laughs> 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 Which is so funny. Your, your it's such a crystal key item rando race keys was, was very fun. It, it, it was, was a lot of fun. I, I, I really enjoyed it. I actually did genuinely expect Chris to win, so the fact that I was able to kind of, you know, lose my way into a victory felt kind of good. Away. It's absolute thievery. It's it's basically you were all just doing a bingo and you did your normal, <laughs> your normal thing. <laughs> you can't oh, keep man. getting away with. I'm looking at the notes and it says, it says uh, if Starly never used Growl and you're not in Torrent, then you're gonna pound until Turtwig uses Withdraw. Otherwise, Water Gun times ten. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> ten. Why ten? gonna just heal a ton or is it does he have more pokemon at this point no it, it's it's just uh it's just a uh, starly and turtwig right now yeah i mean the starly's about to be like a, a three to four kill so mm -hmm. three it does this get me a level it sure does all right i'm checking stats again because i can figure out my defense is all right special attack is 14 speed is 11 you poor poor thing Oh no. Um, so I don't think I die unless I get crit. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say famous last words, but oh no! no. <laughs> Come on! Well, I hope your money routing doesn't. Well, <laughs> it's only sixty four dollars close. <laughs> Wait, how'd you end up at home? Because I never entered a center. <laughs> All right, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> We're just oh, compensating no. for the time that I saved from not getting a Piplup reset, yeah? Right. So here's here's the real thing, chat. When you're doing your first run of a game, uh, you love moments like this because then when you do your second run of the game, you get a time big save. three minute time save for free and it's awesome. <laughs> it feels like really good. Like, I, I actually can't feel, believe I got crit. <laughs> I actually feel kind of bad if I get a like really good first run because then I don't get a million years of free time right. save on my second run. It's so much more fun to get all that time save. It's okay. It's I'm I'm showing everyone what not to do. You see. Yeah. So I see. So it's just another Thursday. Yes. <laughs> Remember, folks, we do this show once a week, Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern, for you, too, to learn how to speedrun poorly. And then you can watch the actual show where you learn how to speedrun well. <laughs> <laughs> how to train a speedrunner. All right. There's no way that happens twice, right? No. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just not. going in. I'm just going in. And I can't imagine you need $64 right now. I mean, no. On. No way. I it's swear like, if the money routing is that I know, tight. Right? It's like new controller money right there. <laughs> yeah. Except not in the Pokemon universe. It's like half a Band-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so th this time that won't happen. That was so unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot believe that. Crit. I think it's 1 in 24 now. It used to be 1 in 16, but I think it's 1 in 24 now. So we, we, we witnessed some unluck. Did I just crit? I'm pretty sure I just crit. I'll watch the replay for Maybe I didn't. Maybe I just really min-maxed. Right. So what do you mean when you say min-max? Ah, yes. So, um, Pokemon damage isn't set. 
so you do one of 16 possible damage values. Now, a lot of times, like, you'll get a lot of the same. So, like, you could do, like, you could have, like, a damage value between 7 to 10, and you're more likely to hit 8 than anything else. I'm going to potion, because this is mean. <laughs> you did not crit, by the way, on the, uh, the previous one. That's but weird. You might have been, were you level 7 when you started this fight the first time, though? Yeah, yeah. yeah so that might be why. And I think you did, like, midnight. <laughs> so it was really weird. But yeah, so there, there's a the, the highest roll you can do is one in sixteen, and a lot of times it's it's like weird. It, it does like two more damage than the average. So like if if your range is seven to ten damage, it might be a one in sixteen to hit a ten, but it might be like a nine in sixteen to to hit eight. Okay, see, we, we're gonna win this time, easy. Easy. There, All it see? cost was a bunch of time and a potion. <laughs> and $64. We have 0 to 2 special attack. I'm not even going to keep track of my stats anymore because they're low. <laughs> <laughs> because who cares? It does not matter. Right, hopefully I don't hit optional trainers here. These notes are super comprehensive. I love this. Yes, they're, they're really good. Um... I believe I believe it's Corvime and Echi that came up with this route, and I'm I'm using I'm using May's notes for sure. You know what I'm gonna do, uh, Richard? If you would like to do this at some point, I'm just gonna add the notes to my uh, stream for you, so that way, if you want to just show people a glimpse of them at some point, just because I think they're neat. Heal up Pokemon Center, important for water gun PP. I would imagine so, since uh, I used 5 million water guns in that fight. The neat thing about this game, to anyone that hasn't played the remake yet, um, your your Poketch, which is like your Pokegear pretty much, will allow you to summon wild Pokemon if you have the correct badge to utilize HMs. So you don't have to teach Surf, you don't have to teach Cut, you don't have to do any of that, so it's pretty convenient. I don't know if I'm supposed to center now. Yes. Okay. Good. Hey, look, I entered my first Pokemon Center. <laughs> sure, it would have been nice earlier, so I didn't have to run back. <laughs> yeah, and the thing is, too, like, a lot of times uh, in the early portions of a, of a run, you're going to take things a little bit more aggressively, even as a beginner, because it's not that bad to just have wasted five minutes or something mm -hmm. or 10 minutes and start over if it goes really, really rough. Um, but I do personally very strongly recommend not resetting as much as possible when you're learning. Yeah. <clears throat> now, what I am going to do, even though the notes don't say it, what I am going to do is I know of a hidden Stardust. I don't think I need the $64. <laughs> I think that's a low amount of money, but I'm going to pick up the money item just in case. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. Because I'm guessing these notes don't account for someone being a dummy and dying to the second rival fight. First rival. That was the first rival fight, actually. I take it back. <laughs> Golly. Now, does this game have only one rival, or is this one of those games that has, like, 16 of them? It has one. Okay. Thank goodness. <laughs> you can actually keep up with it. Yeah. Gosh, I, re I really hope that this Stardust is just me being cautious and I don't actually need it because that'd be kind of rough if $64 made that much of a difference. Right. You know, it's probably a good thing that I'm picking this up anyway, and I think I might have even if I didn't die because we are going to have to buy repels, and since my movement isn't clean because I, I have not done a run of this yet, having extra repels is always a good thing. <clears throat> We're definitely going to save before Rourke, though. Best in case. I'm not going to mess around with this one. Yeah, that, uh, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Rourke is like rock or type or something, though, right? So hopefully yep. it shouldn't be too bad. Can't spell Rourke without... R Most rock. of rock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. R O K rock. <laughs> rock. <laughs> All right, so I'm supposed to exit then. 
Uh, yes, my favorite genre of music, Rourke music. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Assuming the X defend is for Kranidos, because Kranidos, uh, Kranidos hurts. Yeah, I would imagine basically a dinosaur with a metal skull. To... <laughs> yeah, <That> yeah. <laughs> Ouch. This is, so the neat thing about this game, um, this is this has been the case since Gen Seven. So you know, Sun and Moon, and later. X items actually are doubly effective. So X items used to boost your stuff by one stage. Now they boost them too. So me using the X defend essentially doubled my defense. Wait, they boost them too? Yeah. X items are so good. What the heck? They're the, so is good. Is it still only up to plus six though at least? Yes. Okay. Oh, imagine it if it went up to plus you... 12. Oh my goodness. Right. But now it just takes you half as long to, to mm -hmm. get there. That's absurd. That's not good. Game Freak really just like, what the oh, oh, you heard? I'm, oh, no. I'm fine, uh -oh. I'm fine, it's fine. Everything's fine, calm down. Yeah, it's not like you're a really slow penguin or anything. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Game Freak really just looked at like casual players never using X items and was like, hmm, you know what? <laughs> We're gonna really make people wanna start using them even though they've always been broken. There, see? First nice. gym. Look at that. I'm making the first step into speedrunning this game. Hey. Did the Very good. The I the did thing. the thing where I said the show name. <laughs> I think now might be a decent opportunity. If, like, if Richard wants to do it, to just kind of show people what these notes look like. Because I think that's neat. These, these notes are really nice, for sure. Yeah. He can, he can miss them. I hate, I hate to be making requests of them on the fly. Apologize. All right, we got our first badge. Oh, so now head to the mart. Okay, so we're buying four net balls because um, we are catching that scyther, like I said before. So. That's always good. We need we we like Scyther's a bug type, so you know a netball makes sense. Max repels. All right, good. I still didn't sell that thing, so I'm guessing I didn't need it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Everybody's getting a glimpse at him now. Just like a little a little <coughs> section of him. Yeah, you can see that it gives you a lot of uh, gives you a lot of cool stuff like notes about how to do each fight depending on like what your stats are and everything mm -hmm. like that and there's even a, a calculator you're all not quite seeing at the moment that uh helps you determine what those stats are without without having to quick like constantly just go back to the summary you know <laughs> yeah or memorize it i i remember yeah. back in the heyday when we didn't have like any sort of stat calculator and we yeah. we literally just hey i saw this number so i i think so and you couldn't really like keep proper track. The Dark Ages, I, I would yeah. I would say. I mean, it's it, yeah. I, I speed ran uh, Kingdom Hearts Re Chain of Memories for a little bit, and that is a card game, and so it has a a really like it, it has a really similar thing of just like uh, you have to keep track of which types of cards you have, and for the longest time, everybody just kind of had to like memorize it or look at it. And then mm -hmm. I, I made like a little tool to help keep track of it. So there are double battles in in this gen. Um, sometimes it'll be you and another trainer. Sometimes it'll be you and you know a second Pokemon of yours. Used absorb. That's rude. I would imagine. Much like every double battle I've ever seen in the history of Pokemon, your partner's AI is usually pretty, pretty, pretty bad. So you just kind of hope that it doesn't go badly. That's my guess, though. <clears throat> Pop a cough drop. Not a bad call. Huh? I wish I had one of those right now. I have a pile of them. Ooh, yeah, I would have never thought of this. 
Rock smash the rock in the top left and run down the narrow path to grab rock two. All right, we're getting rock two. Not know that. I did not know that this game had rock two there. <laughs> So there are spinners in this game, like every other Pokemon game on the planet besides the first one. I don't know how to, like, deal with them, though. They, they take forever to turn compared to what <laughs> I'm used to seeing. Do they do that thing that's in, uh, oh, in, like, Let's Go or whatever, where if they're diagonal, then they can't actually see you? Um... Yeah, I, I don't think... I think the only spinners that do the thing where, like, they see you while turning is uh want this is uh omega ruby alpha sapphire they can actually see you like mid spin uh, even if you're not on a tile they normally look at it's really strange oh okay but in most like in pretty much all the other games they can yeah as far as i'm aware i didn't know gen one didn't have spinners there's technically one spinner with zero vision you have to talk to him that <laughs> taking a long time there to decide yeah to turn it back stinks around. um let's see it's the east and talk to okay so we do everything this and i oh. believe if i read the notes right it said put my repel down when i get here that is nice that it asks you about if you want to just re-up another repel when it runs out those are cherry berries i'm gonna forget if i don't do this now i'm running back we want these petcha berries <clears throat> What do uh, Petra Berries do for you? No. Morel? No, Poison? Poison. Poison? <laughs> Blah. I, I guess remember. I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> they I think do it's something that the notes tell you you need them they for. They do something. <laughs> oh, is it? do they give you that TM? Is that why? <laughs> she That'd be funny if that's how berries. it worked. No, she, she just asked if we like berries. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're going to teach these right away. Pluck is a very, very uh, strong flying move for this early of the game. Um, it also helps you steal berries, which is hilarious. And then uh, we're teaching Rock Tomb, apparently. I don't I don't like Rock Tomb because of my history of Rock Tomb with Gen 3. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pluck is, what, 60 power flying or something like that? And if, if an opponent has a berry attached... Um, you steal the berry. <laughs> Which is nice because a lot of trainers in, in this game have items attached to their Pokemon. Berry is being one of them. There's a lot of like citrus berry Pokemon. There's a lot of orange berry. There. Yeah. The, the dunking. <laughs> that feels a lot better than the <laughs> when you did that first. <laughs> now the Silcoon, I'm assuming, does not die to a single pluck. So I'm being informed to Water Gun. Um, a lot of times, I'll, I'll see this pop up uh, as a question from people who aren't familiar with speedrunning Pokemon games a lot. Um, a lot of times, you'll see runners not use super effective moves if they know it. It it can't die or if they know that another move that isn't super effective can kill because you saved the text box of saying the move was super effective so it's one of those like minor optimization things yeah in a in a you know multiple hour long run saving one text box may not seem like a lot but if you save one text box 600 times <laughs> you mm -hmm. know or something like that then it really does add up and then, of course, there's other times where you're worried about, like, PowerPoint management, right? So you're going to yeah. switch the... <clears throat> so that Z-Bat was apparently a range to die. So we had a chance to knock it out with one Rock Tomb. It did not happen. Not surprising. This Piplup is trying its hardest, but it's not quite there. Also trying to make sure my voice doesn't sound too weird because I'm, like, swishing around a cough drop. <laughs> okay because mine does sound weird and i don't have a contract <laughs> <laughs> i'm just dying <laughs> i can't believe we didn't have an in-person event but we still got but the gd flu both got sick. <laughs> how is this possible <laughs> all right so we just got the key um 
I don't know if that technically counts as like a sequence break. Like, I don't think we're technically supposed to know that we need a key to enter this place yet, but we have it. So as soon as we beat this trainer, we're going to be able to enter the uh, the Valley Windworks and continue this segment. Uh, team Galactic is the, the bad guy of uh, of this game. They're, they're the Team Rocket of this game, pretty much. I feel like that's more just clever routing, like an intelligent routing mm -hmm. rather than like a sequence break. It's just something that the game lets you do, but you just don't yeah. normally have the knowledge to do it. And I think that's just the crowding. Nice crit. You know what? The note said heal if yellow HP, but it said it after I clicked water gun. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They verbally spoke that, that to you after. <laughs> that could have been bad. It's okay. Speaking of bad, though, the next fight, assuming I don't hit this, this spinner, is Commander Mars, and as the notes indicate, heal as needed, this fight is bad. <laughs> Are you going to heal before going in, since you would have been healed? I am, I am healing right now. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, because normally, otherwise, you would have healed in yellow health, right? So... Well, you're doing the double heal. I'm doing the double, and I'm also going to save before the fight, because this <laughs> fight is bad. Oh, boy. Hooray! That wasn't too long. Yeah, if you're, if you're learning, like, an RPG or any game that has a save feature, um, definitely don't feel bad on your first few runs to take as many safety saves as you feel comfortable taking, because it not, not only does it allow you to continue to learn if something goes wrong, instead of having to redo everything to get back to that point, but once you get deeper into speedrunning the game, it's going to be free time saves. So if I pick up this game again, you know, I know I'm going to save time because I won't die to rival or I won't be saving before Commander Mars. I now understand why we use so many rock tunes. <clears throat> yeah, safety saving is definitely a really really good idea runs that could like cost nice amounts of time loss for those. Ouch! <laughs> Ooh, the flinch. That's yeah, not great. Yeah, fake out's an auto flinch, so that one's pretty much guaranteed. I I'm going to assume that using a super potion here is fine. No, it's one second later. <laughs> Never use a super potion on this fight. You need all three. <laughs> So Pluck steals that berry. There we go. My berry now. <laughs> I like to imagine that the background for this battlefield is just like they put up a bunch of those black light posters of, of the galaxy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so really, they're just like, <laughs> Team Galactic is just a bunch of dorks with like cool looking <laughs> art on the walls. Team Galactic does have really cool looking backgrounds, though. Yeah. I'm good. I was so I'm worried good. that's about no, that no, scratch when you didn't hit <laughs> the It's fine. It's I fine. Like, it crit. Everything's fine. I don't think we were in tech. I hope not, because I, I have a little extra experience, but I don't see anything about learning it. I'm going to go ahead and use another super potion, because I'm in pain. No. Oh. Oh. Ooh. The heck? Oh, with a crit. <laughs> I was like surprised that that wasn't a one shot, but then it was a crit. I was like, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah <laughs> I guess it yeah. was not supposed to be a one shot. But I, I did the second rock tomb because the notes did say use rock tomb, but being safe. I, I could have killed it with anything else, but I don't know if my PP management is important or not. Right. The kind of thing that's hard to know on a on a first run. Yeah. And that's also where having a having a set of notes from the community to start off with is really great. And I love doing it. I love when communities like make good notes like this. And I noticed mm -hmm. that RPG communities, I think, tend to do it even more than a lot of other uh, communities. Oh, yeah. But there is no substitute chat for taking your own notes. Um, like once you start off with like what, what I usually recommend doing is start off by copying 
existing notes and then like do runs with those and notice where you either didn't pay attention to the notes well enough or you made mistakes or something like that and edit the notes to add in reminders for yourself. Um, like if Keys finds out later that his PowerPoint management doesn't matter that much in that fight because maybe he's going to center or something like that, then he could add a note in that just says, use whatever moves, like your PowerPoint man management doesn't matter here. That, that kind of hey. thing. There's just no substitute for your own notes. What is up with this hiker? Can, can you... Hello? Maybe you just need to like talk to him. He just needs a friendly chat. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, is he got to move? <laughs> Hello? Go down to the grass and back up. It'll manip him. Trust me. Oh, there, dang me. it. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been so funny to me if you immediately ran into no! the next truck. Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. That's why we saved. I don't I, know. I love it. What I was describing for the previous trader happened literally two traders later. Where it's like, oh, it'd be so funny if we ran into the one that was walking around afterwards. Oh boy. I forgot she turned right. Oh, this takes a long time it to does. load. This is it takes painful. a really long time. This is painful. You might have been better off fighting it. At this point, I think so. I'm going to find out that that trainer has like six Palkias or something. <laughs> <laughs> you were never intended to fight me. Go, child. All right, so we're just back to the... There we go. Yeah, see, look, okay. easy. Nice and slow. Uh-huh. Very good. There's probably really good movement to dodge all these trainers. I oh, don't know it. I thought that hiker was going to look up. <laughs> that would have been rude. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So here's a fun thing, and I'm assuming that this was found before I found it, but like when I played casually here, I tried my hardest to do single battles for this um, because this this lady has a antsy and is not very good. It, it, it is so eh. unbelievable that this works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I knew about this before the notes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember seeing your clip. Yeah. So d double battles, especially when you have a partner that isn't very helpful, is is very very bad. So we're 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 glad to take the single fight here. Yeah. Like you'd almost think it would be faster because you're getting you're not having to watch the trainer in intro twice, mm -hmm. but at the cost of being like potentially way more deadly. Mm -hmm. It's drinking me. Okay, very good. The, the nice thing about this section, though, is after every battle that you're in, even if it's a wild battle that you run away from, you get a free heal because of your companion. So I do not have to worry too much about this. Is it just a heal or is it the same as like a center and you get your power points? It's the same as a also. center, pretty much. So then you definitely didn't have to worry about your power points in the galactic fight. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you right. See, and that's where Keys would update the notes for himself uh -huh. if it were mm -hmm. if he had copied in them. big bold letters saying, "Hey, dum dum, <laughs> use anything. <laughs> Believe hey. in yourself." The evolution. Kind of neat to see how these remakes handle uh, your mains, because in. In the original Gen 4 games, you would just use whichever starter was the route, and you would just go. Whereas this, like, even though we're getting... Do I want metal? Blah. Doesn't stay. Uh -oh. I'm gonna guess no. Immediately after. Make sure to get metal claw and teach it over. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like, like I said, I'm using a Scyther route, but then the other route is using a traded Kadabra. And then you go into the legend, which you don't even use the legend in in the originals. It's it's really neat. Oh. That's why you have a cherry berry. I understand now. <laughs> he picked up my cherry berry. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I too do not see anything that that says anything about a teaching metal claw. So. 
You know, it says consider charm at minus defense nature, but we're taking so much damage that I'm considering charm now. Spark is a physical move, so please, <laughs> please cease. <laughs> Can't believe World Tournament Champion Pachirisu was beating me up so badly. chat said Primplup is one of the hardest Pokemon names to say, but have you met our friend Kafagrigus? <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about that mon before this stream, actually. Yeah. Alright, so the notes, once again, they're saying, fight these trainers individually. These fights are dangerous. I recommend save... Oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I understand! I understand! <laughs> now <laughs> you'll be fine question yeah, mark? See, yeah yeah rock tomb speed fall okay i'm saving <laughs> yeah that's probably a good idea because the next fight is exactly the same see here's 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 the one one upside that everyone at home has compared to to us here i mean granted Hobbs is not able to race with me today, so I have a little bit more leeway, but since I'm trying to, to do this in, in the span of the length of the show, sometimes I read through the notes too fast. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> I could hear that. <laughs> the, ti the timing of that was the same thing as getting hit. Yeah, I, I thought you were talking about... I was talking about my tooth. I was talking about my tooth. I heard that in Discord. That's how... That was crunchy. <laughs> I was Thanks. like, what What are repels? Who, who needs... <laughs> What's a step count? <laughs> we'll be fine. I gotta re keep them up until Eterna City, so pretty much right here. Oh, there you go. All yeah. right. Literally on like Time the to tile get my you Scyther. <laughs> Yay! I just thought Scyther was a cool Pokemon. Scyther is really cool. Also, like, Scyther apparently has like a unique evolution in the new Pokemon game that's coming out soon too. Ooh. So like, I don't remember what it's called. It's no longer Caesar, Caesar though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just called Blue Caesar or something. Blue, it's blue just the Caesar. same, but it's blue. Yeah. So what is the Grand Underground? Because I have no idea. I, I've heard people talk about this, but I don't really know what it is. No, so it's. <sighs> It's like a nice little like uh, mini game kind of thing, but it, it also expanded to have a bunch of available Pokemon, which was not the case before. I don't yeah, remember like, so, like, ever they... messing with it when I was a kid. Yeah, so the underground prior to this was just like dig on the walls and get stuff like fossils and whatnot. Right. I think this is where Grassland is. If you're level 17, strongly recommend fighting a Wurmple Geodude Badoo to reach 18. Okay. You know, Murkrow. Two of them. So yeah, we're we're gonna be we're basically gonna be going in and out until I produce a Scyther. Uh, once the Pokemon is on screen, it's locked in. So if I save and it's like a good Scyther, then even if I fail to catch it and reset, ooh. Oh, there you go. Well, so much for hitting level eighteen. <laughs> yeah, you know, we'll we'll see what happens here. <laughs> You could try your luck against that Shinx or whatever that was. God, no. No, okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess if it has Spark, you're, <laughs> you're going to be in pain. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. You know what? No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. A rock too. The oh, level 20 is very, very high. Uh, this game has a mechanic where if it's higher level than you, um, it's very unlikely to catch. <laughs> oh, no. And double team. <laughs> Okay, yeah, okay, no, it's fine. still landed. Fine. All right. 
I hope this one's good. Because that'd be and, nice to have a level 20. Yeah. And you made it speed fall, which means clearly it's going to have a harder time getting out of the, the ball now. That's how that works, Hobbs, right? it's beating me up. Hobbs, <laughs> it's beating me up. <laughs> oh, my. You went for it instead of you. <laughs> I mean, I, I saved, so, yeah, you know. Yeah, that's fair. I'll wow, just double team again. Close. Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, but we learned. Remember how, how long this takes? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm. The question is, do I even try to go for that? Because it's level 20. I could, like, yeah, I this is this has everything routed from level 16 to 20. So I could just try to reload a Scyther that's closer to my level so the catch rate's actually fair. Right. Or try to still fight something first to get a higher level. Yeah. So it's yeah. at least a little bit closer. Yeah, unless I'll, I'll it, is it like a the the further away from your level the like I, I less think it's, likely? I think or is it's it just a, a flat rate. I'm not okay. sure. I think it's a flat. I'm gonna see if there's anything I can knock out though. There's a truby, right or whatever that was. Truby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever the thing is, I don't remember. I think it can hurt me though. I I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give the scyther a couple of college tries here. I will be fine. <laughs> I can't wait to finally catch it, only to find out that it does not have technician. Because that's the important part, is getting technician. Oh, it says, if, if Scyther is your level or lower, this is a 35% catch at full HP. So that's pretty nice. Otherwise, it's a 5% catch. This is a good video game. <laughs> <laughs> it says, if it's higher than your level, run away or kill for EXP if it's safe. So you could do that. You know what? Yeah, look at that. I'm gonna kill it. It hurts! <laughs> That's fine. You have two more super potions, right? <laughs> now see, I'm gonna be regular potion. I'm gonna be clever about this. You see, I'm gonna I don't need to heal. This is what I'm gonna do instead. We're gonna return. This is definitely not in the notes. This is just me improvising a little bit. We're gonna return. I'm gonna use the Pokemon Center to heal, and then we'll dig back down. Because I don't know how tight the, the healing item routing is, but... Right. But you know that you can always just take some time. <laughs> yeah, because it's my first run yeah. ever. That's the thing. If you don't know if you can waste, like, resources because you haven't run a game enough, you know you can waste time. <laughs> exactly. That is perfectly okay to do in early runs. Aww. That's such a sad name for an play option. Alone. Play alone. <laughs> <laughs> Dig yeah, underground so in isolation like a loser. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so there's different... Anyone who hasn't seen the underground in the remakes, uh, there's different biomes and stuff. So like this is Spacious Cave. Uh, we're going to whatever that one is, the, the meadow or whatever. There's also like a lava one. There's one that's a swamp. There's ice ones in the ice area, that kind of stuff. All right. Hey, hey another wow. Scyther. Easy. That's fast. Can't wait for it to be another level 20. <laughs> it's going to be 19 just to rub it in. It seems like, though, you're best just throwing the... Uh... Oh, never mind. I, I was looking to see if the note said something. I it... called this! <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm getting the experience so I can get level 19s. <laughs> there you go. There. I'm being maybe smart about it. There. So now the only thing I can't catch is 20. Uh, I'm sure I want Bubble Beam, and I'm right. going to guess it goes over arm. Wait, hold on. Bubble Beam, Bubble Beam. Notes? Notes? Bubble I mean, Beam. Uh, uh... Wait, I saw it somewhere. Bubble beam over pluck. Oh. Oh, interesting. All right, you know, uh, fine. Weird, yeah. You're going to teach grass knot later over water gun. Ah, I see. Okay. So I guess he's still, uh... Wait, why could... be fine. Why could Printplup learn grass knot? <laughs> oh. All right, it's okay. We're going to run into another Scyther and everything's going to be fine. There's a Badoo, there's a Wurmple. Okay, yeah, teach Bubble Beam over Pluck. I see. 
Okay, uh, if you see an Absol, that means you're not going to get the Scyther, so we leave. Um, I do. See, once, once we get this going, once we get this off the ground, it's going to be great for a beginner like me. But th this point, this point <laughs> is, is a little much. Zubat? Z Zubat? Huh? You know, maybe I knocked out the last Scyther in existence. <laughs> I think that's usually how it works. Machop, Machop. I did not even know Machop could be... Azalea. It's like looking for the, the Ursa Ring for your, your key item that you did. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It was worth it in the end when I got it. <laughs> sure it was. And this will be worth it too once I find it. Yeah. I like how you once keep favoring the it. right side since you saw it there twice. <laughs> oh, there's one. <clears throat> okay. I really hope after all of this we find a technician one. Because that would be, that would stink. I want this to be level 20 so bad. <laughs> if it's level 20, I'm going to be so <laughs> bummed. Okay. Oh. I mean, it could have been anything other than 20. <laughs> that would have been nice, but... As long as it has technician, I'm, I'm not going to be sad. I'm a 35% catch here. Or no, that might have been a 47%. We did it. Yo, easy. Every easy. Time. It's not going to have technician. It was too easy. <laughs> I know how this goes. Please have technician. Hasty. Technician. Hey! Ooh. Okay, Ooh. so technician. All what right. does that do? So technician, um, I wonder, I'm going to see if it actually explains it here. How is that Pokemon's weaker move? So anything that's 60 base power or lower actually gets a one and a half times boost. So his his wing attack is going to be 90 power instead of 60. Does that stack with stab or is it? Yes. So like it, before stab, it'll be boosted. So it'll be 60 Ooh. into 90 into 135. Oh, <laughs> yep. That's, that's quite good. Wait, yes. so the, the stab even takes that 90 power? Like, not the, it doesn't yep. add 30 from the... Oh. Yep. Wow. I cannot wait to watch Wing Attack demolish things. That's so weird. Okay, so I, I the notes say nothing about healing, but once again, I'm just playing it safe. Uh, I want to make sure I do have healing items. I wish we could have gotten at level 20, but I'm not going to complain about this. I'm also going to pull up my menu one more time, because as we mentioned before, these notes actually have interactive calculators on them, so I'm actually going to take the time to, you know, write down what my stats are. That way I have a good idea of what I can kill, what I can't, what I can survive, etc., etc. Right. Yeah, the notes say minus attack is scary and not routed, so let's hope you don't have that. Minus speed we, is not ideal, but should yeah, be Yeah, we, we have we have plus speed minus defense. Oh, okay. That's like we perfect, are, basically. Yeah, <laughs> we are we are in good position. So from here, we should have easy game for yeah. the next foreseeable future. I would imagine pretty much the only better thing would be like plus attack minus special defense or minus regular defense or something. Uh, like. Plus attack minus special attack. So adamant would be perfect oh, true. So for minus Scyther. special yeah. attack, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. But this will do fine. Like we have, according to this, it's anywhere between 12 to 17 IV neutral attack, which is pretty much as average as you can get. An average is good. You notice I moved wing attack to slot one because it's going to be a lot of mashing A. And I'm assuming we use Prinplop at various points in time because uh, this, I mean, this game has an experience share that you cannot turn off and we're keeping it in our party. Uh, there is one double battle that you for sure need to pokes. There's there's a, a non-optional double battle that you have to do. So you, right. you do need a second Pokemon. But I would imagine that it stays in your party as well because there probably is a use for it somewhere. What, what are your thoughts on the experience share, like the way they changed it in Sword and Shield and all that? I like it. I just wish that there was an option to turn it off. Because um, I know there are some people that would like to have like a challenge run. Um, right. 
but having it having it on is super helpful casually. Um, the real big benefit of having it on is if you catch a really cool Pokemon, but it's under leveled, um, it will catch up really quickly. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I actually really like it a lot, and I, I can see how they how a toggle could be useful. But I also kind of can see how they were like, well, if you want to do a challenge, just only have one Pokemon in the party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But it's like, yeah, but that doesn't always work very well. When you have things like required double trainers. The Cypher is so neat. Notice how everything is just melting. Yeah, it's absurd. 135 power is like better than double edge for anybody curious. Because that's 120, right? Yep. Yeah. It's 135 so and I'm doing super effective. So 270 <laughs> right now. All right. 54, 44, 30... 25, 35, 44. This is absurd. <laughs> I am poisoned, but everyone kind of just melts anyway, so I don't really need to get rid of the poison quite yet. This is, this is absurd. <laughs> yeah, it's really in a game that has a mew that you can get absurdly early it is really cool that this is straight up faster <laughs> mm -hmm. like the health bar goes down so this is absurd i'm having fun with this route <laughs> yeah so you were saying that this still isn't the fastest route because like the the faster routes are a little bit more difficult for somebody new to the run does, yeah. Do the faster routes still end up using a Scyther for a period of time here, or do they just No, so dead? the faster runs will catch a Machop above the first gym, and there's a trade in that city for an Abra. So you end up training the Abra via that experience share that you can't turn uh, off until it turns into a Kadabra, which is quick because it has the trade experience. Right. So it gets yeah, boosted yeah. experience. And then you run the Kadabra until you get to the legendary. It's the problem really with cool. that route, though, is like... Disobedience is a yes. thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah. If I run into any spinner, then it's over. It's really cool that, like, you can have uh, that trade experience then come into play in, like, offline runs, effectively, right? Like, even without. Because mm -hmm. I think yep. for most people, they probably ignored most of the in game trades and they only remember running into disobedience problems if they were like me and traded all three starters with their friends at the beginning of every new Pokemon game. <laughs> so that way, all of them, like, we did so much resetting and getting those starters up to whatever first town you could actually trade in was because mm -hmm. we would trade all of them across of both of ours. <coughs> so that's like uh, six of them that you need, right? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that was that was when I always remembered about disobedience. But it's really cool that you could take advantage of that mechanic, even though you're playing with just in-game trades and whatnot. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like Crystal uh, can you uses that um, uses the Spearow, right? Or whatever it is. Not is that it? The, the yeah. So you like trade? you, so you can you can use that. Yeah. There's two that you can get. Uh, without even trading there's uh that and there's the shuckle that you can get in cyan wood but i mean oh, most, most people casually aren't going to use a shuckle yeah but yeah the spear can be good yeah i think there is an alternate main route for that too spear is actually pretty solid normal and flying is good who'd have thought right also if you were doing some kind of like different challenge run or something where like maybe right. you couldn't heal in battle or something like that, then it yeah. might be better to just have something that can gain experience faster. Okay, it, it says times two in parentheses, so I'm assuming that that was a range, but that's obscene. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and again, the 59, 49, 34, 27, 38, and... All right, two badges, and it'll speed up from here because we don't have to worry about catching anything. Yeah, that's a good point. You are, this is just gonna be your main to the end of the game or eventually are you gonna swap to something else? I don't know if we swap to the legend on this route or not. We'll find out together. Oh yeah, because this is one of the gens that you like have to catch the legendary, right? Uh, or catch or not? kill, yeah. Catch or kill, okay. But yep, you, gotta, yep. you have to fight it, yeah. 
Give me a bit. Is it Gen 5 that's like, no, you must cash this thing? Uh, I think it's Gen 6. Gen 6, But okay. it's, it's definitely one of the newer ones, yeah. Gotcha. I mean, I know in Sword and Shield also, they're like, you have to catch this. Yeah, yeah, you, you must! Uh, quick reminder, folks, in, in like a minute-ish, um, we're going to go ahead and take a break. We usually take a break every hour into the show. Uh, kind of a multitude of reasons. One, we want to help help uh, promote some wellness here so everyone can, you know, get up, stretch their legs, uh, get a glass of water. I know I definitely need one. Um, it also gives us a chance to play some ads. Um, if you don't want to see the ads, you can always subscribe to the channel and get some awesome music in the background instead. All right, I got to do some shopping here. Eight heal yeah, powers. It also gives the two of us that are very sick a chance to <laughs> to go and cough our lungs out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so if if I do not return after the break, then I apologize, folks. But uh, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> it may or may not happen. But this has been really fun so far. I'm enjoying watching you go through this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and call the break as soon as... I okay. Well, you know, I was gonna say as soon as <laughs> as soon as I get the TM here, because there's a TM I want to grab, but I got sucked into the door. <laughs> All right, so pretty much as soon as I pick up this ball, uh, we will take our break right now. All right, everyone. Like like we said, we'll be back in a few minutes. Don't forget, get some water, stretch your legs, uh, just overall wellness, and we'll see you in a few minutes. Welcome back, everybody, from the ad break. Once again, we appreciate you sticking through the ads. Um, just as a heads up, Hobbs did have to tap out. Hobbs does need to get some rest, so uh, everyone send Hobbs some well wishes, um, whether it's in chat or his his Twitter or anything like that. Just let him, let him know we care. Um, before I start up again, I'm going to go through a couple of announcements real quick. Um, so unapologetically black and fast submissions are now open. So this is going to be a recurring hotfix marathon where black speedrunners are going to be front and center in celebration of black joy. The first iteration is going to be running February 12th and 13th for 12 hours a day. And submissions for that will be open until January 23rd. Um, the schedule will be released on the 1st of February. So if you want more information on that, exclamation point UBAF for the link to the submission form. Um, also, friendly reminder, you're watching a hotfix show right now. We run shows basically every day, um, all throughout the year, unless there's a marathon of some sort going around. Uh, go to twitch.tv slash games on quick if you are on YouTube and watching there. You check us out live. It's pretty much every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, and usually 1 p.m. Eastern on weekends. And uh, if you ever want to know about any other hotfix shows, gamesdonequick.com slash hotfix for a bunch of information on that. Now, with that, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to start. Um, every now and again, you're going to hear... I'll countdown for you, oh, you know? Hey, you know what? I was about to say, uh, we might have lost Hobbs, but our awesome restreamer slash producer slash... Holy crap, it turned daytime in the game. I wasn't prepared for that. Uh, <laughs> slash, slash overall awesome friend, Richard is going to be here uh, to be the second voice in the stream and also count me down, apparently. Hooray. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm if ready you're then. ready, I will count yeah. you down in three, two, one, go. All right, it says heal team the full. All right, am I full already? No. All right, teach thief to scyther. We did just get that TM. Teach in slot four. There's thief. Teach rock smash to scyther over slot three. Uh, I, I have, I have um, light slash, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just go with the notes just in case. I don't see anything about it. So there we go. Rock Smash the Scyther over slot three. Grass Knot the Print Plop over Water Gun. Okay, I, I would like to. There we go. So this is like the bread and butter of uh, of speedrunning Pokemon games, is menuing fast. You know, that thing I'm currently not doing. It's a really, really beefy menu so far, too. Oh, go, go, I believe. All right, so we want to do this as a double battle. Very good. I would imagine from here, uh, knowing absolutely nothing about this route, I would imagine that uh, 
for the most part, it's going to be super duper easy because of how strong the Scyther is going to be. Wing attack, Zubat, Bubble Beam, Wurmple. See, we still get to use Print Plup. Don't worry, gang. Wing attack, Glamio, Bubble Beam, Cascoo. I really do like these notes. Once again, shout outs to, to Corvame for providing these. They are, they are really so, clean. Uh, you know, taking stock after the first hour, how how detailed uh, do you think these, these notes are for someone that's just getting into speedrunning? Do you think it's, you know, helpful? Uh, do you think there's, like, things that, uh, you know, could be added or, uh, you know, things that you might want to clear up for anyone in the audience right now that might have uh, uh, difficulty reading these notes to start with? I will answer that in just a sec. I'm just putting in some stats in this calculator real quick. All right, cool. Uh, don't learn double hit. Very good. Uh, I think these notes are fantastic, especially if you're a beginner. Um, the, the notes do mention at the beginning, um, there is a run, there's a link to a run, and it recommends that you watch the run alongside reading the notes before you do a run. That way you can kind of just study a little bit and see some of the nuances and whatnot. But uh, I mean, I'm, I'm getting through it just fine. The only issues that I've had so far were because I didn't read far ahead enough. But I would say that these are really, really solid notes. So if you if you want to pick up Brilliant Diamond as a speed game and you have these notes available um, and, you know, you're not going for the fastest time quite yet, but you want to just get comfortable with, with playing the game fast, I would definitely recommend these notes for sure. This is pretty neat. The Scyther is a really cool Pokemon. Like this is this is really awesome to see. I, I don't care if this route isn't the fastest. This is this is cool. It's it's really as, as someone who's speed ran Pokemon for years, it's really really cool to see how creative a lot of the runners within the community have gotten. Because for the most part, a lot of runs were you know use your starter. Uh, for the vast majority of it and then swap towards the end or just stick with it all the way um or just something super duper early game like you know gen one has nitto king that you would use uh gen two depending on the route you know for alligator or nowadays you use one of the roaming legendaries like raiko um gen three you would use mudkip all the way until the legendary so just really cool to see like these mons that are traditionally not considered for speedruns be in routes like Kadabra or Scyther, uh, Starmie for Let's Go. Like it's it's really neat to see. Um, I believe, I believe that um, I think it's Black. Black uses uh uh the dog. I can't remember the name of the dog. I feel bad. Stoutland. I think it uses Stoutland now. And then you know White Two uses uh Excadrill use Halucha for Ultra Moon, like that kind of stuff. It's, it's really, really neat. All right, so I have to X attack, which I forgot I even had one. Also, the note said heal Scyther to full. Good thing we didn't take damage. All right. So we lead with Thief. I believe it steals the berry. Yeah. No. I think so. All right. I'm I'm probably going to hit a trainer on cycling road though unless I go really really slow. So I'm probably going to go really really slow. I also did not keep track of my stats there, darn. I hope everyone in chat is doing well right now. Everyone was able to stretch and stay hydrated during the break. Mm -hmm. 
friendly reminder to anyone that is just now tuning in and is not entirely sure what is going on. Um, I'm going to be a weenie and use the center. Don't mind me. Um, this is the first step. Usually it's myself and Jay Hobbs, and we're doing either improv or semi-improv races to show all of you in chat that it's really easy to pick up speedrunning. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not I'm not doing too healthy, and Hobbs definitely not doing too healthy. So Hobbs is is a uh, a little out of commission at this point in time, so I'm just running through this game. I'm showing another way you can learn speedrunning. Uh, Brilliant Diamond is a game that I've played a decent amount casually, but I haven't played fast yet. So I'm taking whatever knowledge I've had from before um, and reading the speedrun notes and trying to finish my first speedrun of the game ever. But regardless of how we approach it, the goal of this show is to show everyone at home that you can be a speedrunner in as little as playing the game. Play the game, go as fast as you want to go. Okay, I'm going to be really, really slow and embarrassingly bad at this, so don't mind me. I'm going to try my best. Really slow. This is embarrassingly bad. I did it. <laughs> Let's never talk about how bad that movement was. Everyone clap, please. <laughs> that was that was really bad. <clears throat> All right, you know, I didn't even know that revive was there, but the notes had a picture. Great. Um. Thank goodness. I don't know how to handle these spinners. I'm sure there's a technique to them, but I, I do not know the technique. Register the bike so we can get on it faster. Uh, I'd like to remind everyone at home that Cyrus is 27. He, he looks like he's gone through a time. But he is 27. Alright, there's a there's an ether in the rock right above the Cyrus cutscene, so this one, very good. Goodness, his movement. I'm so terrified I'm going to hit a spinner. Oh, my goodness. All right. Now we're in Heart Home City. This is where you can do contests. Uh, press one in chat if you like doing contests. I've yet to do a contest in this game, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know if they're any fun, to be honest. I I've heard a. Uh, I've heard a handful of things both ways. He's got to go through some mandatory cutscenes here. We got a dress. Maybe I should try cutscenes. Uh, cut Maybe I should try a uh, contest after I finish this run. Like I said, I haven't done one in this game. No 
we're supposed to wing attack the Starly. Anyone who ever wants to pick up any Pokemon games, like whether it's this one or an older one or just, you know, anything in between, um, don't forget that uh, speedrun.com has leaderboards. It also has resources, um, links to the Discord. There's a lot of helpful people within the Discord servers. Uh-oh. The notes warned me about this. If Wing Attack did not kill and Ponytail used Flame Charge, swap the Prinplup and Bubble Beam. Ouch. Rude. Scyther. This this Scyther is obscene. I can't emphasize that enough. What a neat route. I don't know if I need to heal or not. Unsure. I will probably just do it out of cowardice. All right, let's see. So I'm going to go ahead, throw up the repel. I'm going to heal because I'm a coward. You're not. Keys. Oh, I sure am. I am very proud of you. You're oh, doing thanks. an incredible job this run. Thanks. Oh, what is this movement? Oh, it's atrocious. You know, if you want to see more of this movement, go to twitch.tv slash keysroom. How did that happen? All right, well, you know... Guess we're fighting this, uh, this breeder, I guess. Because I... I ended up in range. That's fine. Extra experience. This hurt my feelings. This hurt my feeling. Cute charm. Okay. So I, I can't imagine anything bad's going to happen here. We're just going to have a little bit of extra experience. There's That's one thing that I still haven't adjusted to with this game. The, the movement is kind of finicky. Like, the, the momentum... You, just, you lose it the moment you hit something, and sometimes you, like, accidentally launch yourself to compensate. And I, I think that's kind of what happened there. Alright. Gonna make our way through this. I believe this is where we get strength. I believe. Replace. Stop. Yeah, we deposited print plot because since we only have one Pokemon in our inventory now, uh, we don't have to do any of those doubles, which is why I'm able to run pot run by some of the trainers. And a neat. Keep rope is here.
Everything's fine. Look at that. We're doing great. to slot four. Yes. A friendly reminder, Thief is a... And I didn't think about this when I was talking about Night Slash earlier, because this did come with Night Slash. Um, so, since Thief is 60 or less power, it gets the Technician boost. It's, it's really good. Rock Smash gets the Technician boost. This moveset is really, really solid for, like, a moveset that you probably wouldn't consider normally, because Technician is really that good of an ability. Pick up the Ether and the Pokeball by the Jogger. All right. That is this direction. Grab the Zinc in the Northeast Grass Patch. Grab the what in the where? Zinc in the Northeast Grass Patch. Which one? You're gonna repeat the thing. Just, uh, you're yeah, yeah, yeah. It, wait, what? How did I get an encounter? Did I say no to my repel? Are your uh, confirm and cancel oh. inputs just not getting oh. taken? No, 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 no. It's because that's level 22 and I'm level 22, so I can't repel it away yet. Oh All my right. goodness. Make it stop. I'm making mistakes. <laughs> this repel is useless. Get me out of here. Oh my goodness. You know what? First run. First run. <laughs> you know, we have someone in chat just now that is watching their first live episode of TFS. And I do want to remind everyone, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, the first step is live every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on twitch.tv slash GDQ. I have had a lot. I don't get to talk a lot on this show. I think I've only talked maybe like four times over the last hundred episodes, but, uh, you know, I do have a lot of fun with this show, and it is great to see both Keys and Hobbs every week. Uh, and I feel like, you know, both of you have gotten a lot better, you know, over the course of the last couple of years just doing all these shows. I appreciate you saying that when I'm fighting a trainer I should have dodged. <laughs> You're welcome. Just trying to, you know, get, get it past this. So that yeah. everyone thinks that you should have fought it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. exactly. You're I'm going to use this energy powder. I don't know if I'm supposed to, but I I, I took an ouchie, and I don't want to be with ouchie. Fight the top trainer for... Oh, my... Oh, my... Please, please. <laughs> what was that bike? That bike hurt. Heal Scyther to full slash wing it to... Oh, I should have healed here. I'm, an, I'm a dingus. No. Oh, this is why you read slightly ahead when it comes to reading notes. All right. Thief the Kadabra. It used Reflect. We Thief the Kadabra and it died anyway. This Scyther is so much fun. Uh, if if anyone in chat's ever considered running a Pokemon game, but you're not entirely sure which one you want to run, um, I would definitely recommend considering um, one of the Let's Go games. Because Let's Go has really, really good resources and is also just a really friendly run for the most part. At, at a top level, there's obviously a bunch of run killers, but when you're first learning, like it's a really fun, like casual speed run. I'm impressed that we're still using this, this uh, print bluff. Scyth Scyther is really good, but Printflop is still still pulling some weight here. Grass not until dead. Near the Gyarados. Wing attack spam. Okay, I'm assuming 
I'm assuming I'm supposed to die. <laughs> but I mean, it looks like I'm going to take out the Gyarados on my own. Good job. What a nerd! This print plop's so good! We did it. Yes, we did it. We did it, yes. Alright, head to Veilstone Department Store. Pick up the hidden revive on the left side. There's a hidden revive? Wow, I didn't know that. Today you learned. That's so cool. Today I learned. We're all learning That's here so cool. on the first step. Haha! I was lucky. <laughs> right, take the escalator to the third. Please get in the. Oh my god. Take the escalator to the third floor. All right. Upsy daisy. I don't know if it's faster to go above or below. Let's go below. It seems like that's faster. Third floor top vendor. Sell all TMs except two stealth rocks. Okay. Bye. Go. Go. Yeah, that's a lot of shopping we're doing. Sell the zinc, which I think is over here. Yep. Um... Buy Swords Dance. Well, I, I have a feeling I know where this run is going. Now we also buy Flamethrower, which I'm assuming means that we are definitely going to main switch at the end. Second floor, top vendor. So this is pretty traditional for Pokemon runs. Like, usually there's one giant shopping trip you tend to do. Huge shop. This feels like playing Gen 1 again when you're in Celadon Mart. First floor left vendor. Buy. First floor right vendor. Buy. Max Hyper Potion. You know what I'm going to do? That Stardust that I picked up ages ago. I'm going to sell that. Go. How much money are you spending here? Jeez, Keith. Uh, a lot, apparently. All right, there we go. We can finally stop spending money. <laughs> you know what doesn't cost money, though, is uh, Prime Gaming. Uh, oh, if yeah. anyone in chat has a Prime Gaming sub available, uh, all bit and sub revenue uh, for the Games Done Quick Twitch channel for the month of January will be donated to the PCF. So, you know, if you want to help out charity, you don't want to spend as much money that Keys just did? You could do that. Yeah! All right, let's see. Heal Scyther to full. All right, that was easy. Uh, Ether wing attack, All right? Go. Whip the metronome on Scyther, All right? Give. All right, teach Swords Dance to Scyther in slot two. All right. Go. I'm assuming that I put Scyther back in slot one because Printflop didn't die. Talking. Watch example video for puzzle solution. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do now, Keys? Uh, Can you watch this example video? I'm gonna figure it out live. <laughs> <laughs> well, I believe in you. I. Thanks. It's fun. I, I, I think I remember how to do it. It might not be the fastest way, but I remember how to do this. These notes did mention at the beginning, watch this with a run so you can understand what to do. Well. 
Okay. But we'll get it all figured out. It, it's, There's, there's no way that this can go horribly wrong. I'm probably taking an extra, like, three or four actions I don't need. Oh. As long as the end result is the same. And as long as chat is having a good time. Yeah, I hope everyone in chat is having a good time. if you're having a good time. Please push the thing. Thank you. Please turn. Please, Mr. Spinner, I beg of you. Please, Mr. Spinner, I beg of you. Thank you. I don't know how to handle spinners in this game. They're so weird. No, no! I got stuck. I got stuck. No. All right, it's okay. This can't. Th this is just experience. We got a level 16 scyther. We're just we're compensating, right? We're compensating. Does he only have machokes? This is easy. And this is easy. He only has Machokes. Easy. Everyone calm down. Don't worry. Green is fine. That's actually what I want to see. Wing attack. See, look, the, the extra experience is going to make this fight super easy. I remember my casual playthrough of this. This gym was actually kind of hard. Oh, come on. Okay, so it, it should it should be fainted now because of the metronome. So the, the metronome item we picked up with each consecutive use of of the same move, you get 10% more damage, which is why I kept doing more and more damage, even though I was only using wing attack. So really, really, really good item. That was also a damageless fight. I don't know how likely that is, but that's that's pretty neat. We've we've been healing a lot because I'm a coward. Heal of yellow HP. Ha! Silly notes. Yellow HP. That's assuming I took any damage. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Please.
Oh, Lucas got his Pokedex stolen, so we're gonna, we're gonna be good friends and, and help Lucas out. And hopefully Lucas isn't a bad double partner. Attack Beautifly. The fairies existing, I guess. Wing attack stunky. Wing attack dust ox. It's almost like the only button you press for the most part with the Scyther is A. I've never seen this in a Pokemon run before. This Scyther's hilarious. one thing I never liked about this game, both the remake and the original, I don't like how Fly is here. It just seems kind of weird to me because I feel like it's a spot that if you're not paying attention, you could easily just not go in here and grab Fly and then just be out one of the best skills in the game. Psychic coming up. I keep trying to talk to the trainers to avoid the exclamation point and the extra animation, but a lot of times I like I'll diagonal and I'll hit the wall right before them and lose my momentum and then just like mash A and slowly crawl my way up. It happens to the best of us, really. Yeah. Movement in this game is hard. But that's okay as you're getting started with speed running. You know, if anyone out there finds any difficulty with things like that, just know over time you'll get more used to all the mechanics. Yeah. I sure hope I wasn't close to learning focus energy. <laughs> I can't imagine I do. I don't. I don't have space for that. I think I saw, I pulled up chat briefly a couple of times, and I think I saw someone mention, um, I don't know how to handle this script. Oh, well, you know, um, I, I think I saw someone mention, um, the Kadabra route instead. So I asked, I asked around, since I haven't done a speedrun of this before, I asked around, and the general consensus was because of hitting optionals, especially with how many I've hit so far. Um, doing the cadaver route would have been really, really dangerous because it would have disobeyed really quickly. Um, so this Scyther route, even though it has a kind of difficult part in catching the Scyther, is a little more beginner friendly. Sure wish I knew how to handle the move. So this this kind of comes with the territory of learning a run for the first time. I don't know the optimal pathing. I don't know the movement. So I'm bound to make a bunch of movement mistakes. I'm also just really bad at movement in this game anyway. But like I said, it's a really finicky game when it comes to movement. Okay. Oh, you know. I'm really confused at what I just did, but that, that's fine. I'm alive. <laughs> Where are my repel?
Watch this. I did that perfectly. Look, see, I made it. Hooray. Beautiful. Greatest video game. What am I, what am I doing? Get the rouse berries from the berry patch right before the entrance of the for you. We use roused berries. Only gonna yellow this spinner. No, I regret it! I regret it! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I deserve that. I deserve that. It's not about deserving or not deserving. It, it's just that it happened. We're just getting extra experience. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down, everyone. Grab the... That's... Oh. That one's roused. There we go. <laughs> I've never picked up a roused berry in my life. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. You know, I don't know if I was supposed to pick up both. It just says get the berries, and there are two patches of them. I'm, I'm grabbing both. That's that's a lava berry. No. Oh, my. Oh, for... Uh-huh. 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 Very good. All according to plan. All according to plan. Be lucky for me, I actually remember how to do this gym. Nice. You now, while you're walking through this gym, I actually kind of wanted to point something out in chat. Someone was saying this is their first time watching a speed run while doing the complete opposite, shiny hunting. I want to say that in speedrunning, you actually do a lot of repetitive things, so it might not be as opposite as you think. Yeah, exactly. Because as you play through a game, ideally you do it the same every time, uh, as optimally as you can. So now it might not be that different after all. Yeah. Don't mind me, chat. I'm popping in another cough drop. Eventually. Trying to mash with one hand while doing this. You have like Aqua Jet or something? I was not paying attention. Man, this site there is so much higher level than it should be. This this happens. This happens when, when you're new to a run and you don't know how to do movement properly or you make really terrible decisions like I have. You know, i.e., hey, I'm gonna YOLO this spinner and then all of a sudden. Shocked Pikachu face as to how I got hit by a spinner. All right. Oh, the notes say after this next fight that's coming up, do not teach focus energy. That's how many extra levels I have right now. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> uh, well, you did fight. Uh, I, I don't actually think I can count that. You meant that you can I've lost a no, lot of time. After, after, you know, you, you encountered mm -hmm. a few extra. Just a few. What, one death and like eight optional trainers so far, you know? No, no big deal. That's so silly. You know, what's also silly is awfully silly uh, every other Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern here on the Games Don't Quit Quiz Channel, the recurring show that we have on Hot Pigs featuring uh, games that you would typically see in a mainline GDQ in the awful or silly block, hosted by Conception. I really need to go. You know, actually, also one of the things that I 
I try to get you and Hobbs to do this a little bit more, but uh, what do you do on your streams, Keith? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I do a lot of Pokemon randomizers, typically like Crystal. Um, I've also been doing a lot of Ender Lilies speed runs. Uh, if anyone in chat isn't familiar with Ender Lilies, it's a Metroidvania. It's an indie Metroidvania that came out last June. Really, really awesome game. I love it. Uh, but for the most part, my channel is basically randomizers and speedruns. With the occasional, like, casual Valorant stream or casual old school RuneScape stream. Be sure to follow twitch.tv slash keys around everyone if you are enjoying this run. Now here's a fun little fact for people that maybe have never seen a randomizer of this game. So Shellos has two different forms depending on which part of uh, Sinnoh you catch it at. Um, randomizers currently don't know how to handle the second form of Shellos, so it always comes out as a shiny Pikachu. I, I could not give you the actual technical reason as to why it comes out as a shiny Pikachu, but it sure does. Heal is needed, beware of brine. You know, I probably maybe should have saved before this gym leader. Mm. It's okay if you didn't save, though, because this is just more time Chad gets to spend with us. And I yeah. know Chad is longing for time with me, because usually I only do numbers in your ear. You're not used to hearing me say anything other than count it down. Next. And... Oh, I definitely should. All right. Towards the dam. Towards the dam. Uh, energy root. X speed. Should be good from here. Ah, here's one of those things that definitely is applicable to someone like me who is just learning this run for the first time. After this fight, it says, if you want to see in the fog at the cost of time, go do this stuff. I don't Are have the game memorized. We are going to be, we are going to be using the cost of time. <laughs> I, for one, want to be able to see. This is also a courtesy for everyone out there, uh, so that you can see as well. All right. Four badges. We're making all right progress. I do wish we didn't get stickers every time we won because it is a kind of time loss. Great casually. All right, so we're kind of almost halfway through the game. Kind of. I think the fifth badge is more the halfway point just because uh, um, like the extra stuff you have to do against like the the villain team. All right, we're running in here to grab Defog. I want to see. supposed to wait to do that, but that's okay. Oh no. Movement hard. Alright, gonna put our repel up now. Now even though we're chasing a bad guy down, our rival's gonna come up for some reason. 
and be like, oh yeah, now's the time to fight. Don't know why. Charlie has quick claw. That's weird. I hope everyone's uh, still enjoying watching Wing Attack Simulator. Because <laughs> that's. I'm looking through these notes. I think that's the only attack we use for the next 90 minutes. Yeah, what a jerk. All right, level thirty one. A level I don't think we were supposed to hit yet. Also, if no one noticed yet, our character's name is TFS. So every time the rival's like, all right, TFS. 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 Hey, you know what? If I hit that spinner, I could just pass her every time now. <laughs> Look at that. Mistake saving time. <laughs> the uh, unbeatable gold split. Yeah. That's all these later splits. Yeah. No splits that I'm totally <laughs> taking. I love this deal. It's so quick. I'm glad that the notes tell me to do it because I would probably do it instinctively on accident. Uh oh. Just chasing this grunt down. Oh, I'm getting a little sniffly right now, so apologies ahead of time, chat. Okay, I will commentate this. Yeah. As you fight Team Galactic Grunt. Yeah. Hell, Glamio, how will Keyzron do in this fight with a Scyther? I know you can do it. Which 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 wing attack wing move attack. is he gonna wow. use? Incredible. <laughs> <I'm fainted. laughs> Ooh, Look at that. Who would have suspected? Look that at that attack. wonderful micro there from Kizaron. Moving this Scyther around, selecting the proper move, and then defeating the enemy. <laughs> and now, Kiz is going to be ready to roll out again. So funny. Yeah, like this, I see the next page of fights is wing attack, wing attack, wing attack, wing attack, wing attack. Oh, hey, there's a swords dance eventually. Heck yeah. Alright, use a super repel and do not refresh. You got it. I think I'll do slightly better at some of the movement for, for the next while. Okay, never mind. I'll just get on my bike and hop off immediately. Ah! Please, please look the other way. Please look the other way. I'm not risking this. Please look the other way. The moment I tried to pass you from a different direction... Yeah, there you go. Thank you. The moment we went behind her, you knew she was going to look at me. I, I know how this works. I'm no fool. I guarantee you I hit like two optional trainers here, though. going past it. Defog. There. I can see!
Yeah, so a top a top level runner would not pick up defog and would just go through this without seeing. But again, this is my first time playing through this game in a speedrun setting. So I'm going to take the safest possible routes that I possibly can. You don't have to learn all the all the fastest strats and frame perfect tricks on your first speedrun. You know, when I try to learn a new game, it it's often better to actually look at like, you know, the middle of the leaderboard, see what some people are doing for, for safety strats. Yeah. It's it's gonna ease you in. You know, you might do a few difficult things here and there, but overall you'll still be able to finish the run. Mm -hmm. you know, some people might uh, make the option of looking only at the world record and then getting a little bit dejected that they can't do all the tricks, which is natural because those people put in, you know, hundreds, thousands of hours into a game. I'm mad. That isn't fair. I'm mad. I, I almost spit out my cough drop too. I'm upset. <laughs> I'm struggling right now. I thought you were wing attacking. I'm struggling. Oh, I'm, I'm wing attacking, all right. Oh, okay. So you're not struggling. Man, this site is going to be so buff. <laughs> Wait, what do I do against an Onyx? Uh, hey, 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 Brent Flop. Congrats. Come back. We're fine. See, look at this. No big deal. Just bubble beam. Oh. Oh, I don't, I don't like any of this. Um, bubble beam. Oh, okay. Sure. You insist. All right, My, minor detour, minor, minor problem. I don't think we're supposed to learn agility. Oh God, I hope we're not supposed to. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't tell you what I'm supposed to learn anymore <laughs> because I'm so far ahead in levels. I would imagine not. Control this guide for you to yeah, I would imagine not. <laughs> uh, Agility. Do not teach agility. Yes! Just failed out by the guy. Failed out! Doop -de doo All right. The game's easy. Let's, let's not even... Nothing bad ever happened. No, it's all intentional. I'm intentionally getting stronger, so nothing bad happened. I see some talk in chat about the, the mains that you use. So yeah, in Gen 1, <coughs> Nido King. In gold, it's for alligator. In crystal, it's Raiko. In uh, sapphire and emerald, it's Mudkip until you get either uh, Iogre or uh, Rayquaza. Uh, Gen 4, I don't remember what's faster in, in original Gen 4 because it bounced back and forth between, between penguin and monkey. I don't know what's actually faster still. Gen 5 is Stoutland uh, for black and uh, Excadrill for white too. Uh, Gen 6 is a cavalcade of pocket monsters until you until you get to Lucario or Mudkip into Latios slash Latios into Box Legendary. Uh, Gen 7, uh, Sun and Moon is Primarina until Legendary. Uh, Ultra is... Um, is the trade halucha uh sword and shield uh sword is the water starter shield is um uh arcanine into excadrill all the let's go games are starter into um into starmie
Really, really diverse selection. Really diverse selection. And you know, in there, I do want to point out one of the things you said, that you said What's Faster, which is actually a show on JDQ Hotfix that we have going on tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. Eastern. Ooh. It's actually going to be uh, Wind Waker versus Link's Awakening DX. And then also, we're going to have a mashup of a few other games. You can check that out at 7 p.m. Eastern tomorrow here on the Games Done Quick Twitch channel. What's Faster is a neat show ran by our good pal C Average. And what's faster was actually spawned from from me and Hobbs doing Crystal versus Kingdom Hearts 2 a million times over and over and over and over. All right. Exit the cave. Got to heal the full. You know, I forgot to get the choice specs, so let me let me go get those before I accidentally leave. Not that direction. I wonder if I got here, Pat. Okay, I did. Excellent. Okay, heal the full. Let me find my healing. Oh, yeah, I am full. Aha! Take that. Uh, Roustberry. Scyther. Right. Fly to heart home. Got it. Friendly reminder, folks. In a couple of minutes, we're going to take, uh, we're going to take our usual ad break. Um... As mentioned before, uh, helps fund the hotfix shows, and uh, it also allows us to take a little bit of a wellness break. Uh, everyone gets to get up, stretch your legs, um, get a glass of water. Okay, right, middle, left, right. So I think, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead. And we'll take out this gym leader, and then I think that's going to be a good spot for a break. Also, you're supposed to do a bunch of math. You're supposed to read the signs and do a bunch of math, but who needs math? We have directions. Uh, I'm going to save just in case. If I die on this attempt, that'll also count as a break. I'm going to give it one shot before the break. All right, this looks really complicated. We want to X speed. Towards Dan. X defense. Towards dance again. I'm going to go ahead and heal from here. Be safe. I think this should be fine. Should win from here. I think. I hope. Be one more thief use, and we should be good. All right. Very good. So let's get through this text, and then we're going to go ahead and take our break, folks. 
eventually. Eventually, everyone's leveling up. Everyone's getting strong. The the design on her dress, like like her her neck design there, makes it look like she has like a soul patch under her lip. Kind of funny. All right, and we're gonna take our break in three, two, one, pause. Once again, folks, we'll be back in just a few minutes. We're just gonna play some ads. Uh, use this as your opportunity to use the restroom, refill your water, uh, stretch your legs real quick, and we'll see you all in a few minutes. Welcome back, everybody, from the break. We're just gonna get right back into it. I'm excited to get through this run. So I'm gonna go ahead and give a countdown right away. I'm gonna start again in three, two, one, go. So we did just get our fifth badge, question mark. Fifth, I think so. Hope so. <clears throat> Hope everyone had a good little bit of a break. I was able to use the restroom and refill my water. It's pretty good. Always stay water hydrated. Water is pretty good. Water is fantastic. It's like you need it. Like it's a requirement of living. I do not like how you have to leave this gym so slowly. Right. But we got a pretty decently sized menu we're about to do here, so I'll probably go a little slow. Cynthia's about to give a surf, I believe. Just got it or something. Um, let's heal the full. Heal. Oops. Beach Surf the Brim Flop over Rock Tomb. That's slot two. Beach Stealth Rock to Prim Plop over Charm. That's interesting. Putting the metronome back on Scyther. Putting the choice specs on Printplop. Now uh, we're going to use Super Repel that I was totally hovering over and totally just messed up. Flying the Jubilee. Alright, I'm really good at mashing my quick key to get on my bike, only to like mash it so much that I get off the bike immediately after getting on. I didn't realize that one trainer was was a spinner, so this makes sense. All right, so upcoming, we're going to be doing a, a rival battle, and then we're going to go through another gym. Yeah, yeah. If if I if I get off the bike after getting on it, I'm just it's it's RNG manipulation, just like every good Pokemon speedrunner says. Yes, of course. Of course. Next defend. Next speed. Board stand. Accuracy. It crit. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. And I did not save, so I'm going to go ahead and take the wipe. 
we can fly back here, but that's really unfortunate. Unless I can just surf the rest of the fight. Unlucky. That's twice we've died to a rival crit. Okay, this is just bullying now. Are you gonna attack me? Unlucky. Like, I'm just gonna take the death here. So I gotta buy an X Defend and X Speed and X Accuracy. So a little bit of a detour because we got pretty unlucky. That critical hit was really bad. How much does uh, money routing matter in a in a run like this? Typically, money is really, really important. I don't know how flexible it is in this just because I haven't done a run of it yet. I would imagine that it's probably routed pretty tight. That was, that was pretty unfortunate. I could have saved before it, but like I... Once again, it's like one of those things where like you you can save when it's one of your first runs, like so I should be saving just to be safe. But uh, it's also very unlikely to happen, so it's like one of those things that you don't necessarily consider. I'm gonna play with fire and do it again without saving to prove my point. <laughs> That was really, really unlucky, but that's okay. All right, round two, X defend, X speed. Swords Dance. X Accuracy. There, that's how that's supposed to go. Now we just Nicely win the fight. Done. Now we just mash A again. You know, actually, speaking of mashing A, I noticed on this board specifically, there was a turbo category. Yeah, so uh, there's Pokemon boards that are starting to introduce uh, splitting non-turbo use and turbo use. Um, anyone who might have some accessibility issues, whether, you know, you don't have two normal working hands or, like, you have carpal tunnel or anything like that, uh, we're starting to get more going when it comes to allowing turbo in speedruns in general. Um, hand health and wrist health is definitely important. I am not using turbo. I do have a controller that does have turbo, but I, my fear is if I use turbo, I'm going to keep it on too long and accidentally mash through something I'm not supposed to. So I'm, I'm opting for manual mashing right now. But yeah, there, um, there's definitely a lot of uh, good accessibility now. If you want to speedrun a Pokemon game, but you traditionally have hand or wrist problems, um, you know, and like normal like exercises or compression gloves like don't don't help you out too much, or if you want to continue to preserve your hand and wrist health, um, there is a turbo category for this. I think some of the newer gens also have it. I'm not sure about the older gens quite yet. I'd have to double check. But. But yeah, there is indeed turbo for this game now. 
I just learned like two weeks ago how to how to turn on turbo on this controller, so <laughs> I've had it this whole time and never knew. But now you know. Now I know. My assumption is we grass not times two there because that Steelix probably has sturdy. Oh, you skipped the sturdy text. That's my guess. Son of a... Really? <laughs> All right. You can take the third thing, the, the third lift, and, and go around the spinner, but I, I felt like that was a good pass until it wasn't. <laughs> but that's okay. It'll, it'll, it'll die. We're, we're, just, we're just showing everyone what not to do. Yeah, these is just really just adding to the time that you get to spend with me. Because, again, yeah. I, am, I am filling the role of J Hobbs 296 here for commentary on the first step. Uh, I remember, I think, what, the last time that, that I talked was uh, that Psychonauts 2 uh, right at the beginning. Yeah. Where, uh, where Hobbs didn't know <laughs> that I was going to intro thing. Yep. It's been a while. It's been a yeah. while since we've heard your voice on stream. Oh, how, uh, since this is the, this is the first episode of the first step since AGDQ, um, I haven't been able to see everyone's feedback. Uh, how's, how'd everyone enjoy the event? What everyone think of, uh, AGDQ 2022 online? I thought, I thought it kicked ass. I thought it was really, really good. What was everyone's favorite run? <clears throat> My or favorite run runs was It Takes Two. If you haven't watched It Takes Two, do that after this show. I got 20 minutes into It Takes Two. Spoil it for me. I won't spoil, I but it's very good. <laughs> it's very good. Fantastic. My favorite run was uh, the pre-show. It was in the schedule as a game, so <laughs> I, it has to have been. Yeah, fun. you know, that's fair. The uh, foo chair picture is probably my favorite thing to come out of this AGDQ. It was pretty good. Yeah, I, I really liked It Takes Two a lot. Um, I absolutely adored the Kingdom Hearts 2 rando race. Absolutely no bias. I know that's 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 a Hobbs thing. I know our our, our pal from this show it was in it. But really, really, really good showcase. Also, what better way to end than getting Dome Skip blindfolded? That was that sick. Was amazing. I couldn't believe it. That was so sick. Rose, Rose Curell, everyone. Uh, go follow Rose. That was an incredible job doing that blindfolded. There are a lot of blindfolded things, actually. Mitch, Mitch yeah. is doing uh, Sekiro. I, I heard um, I heard a lot of good things about a lot of runs that I still need to check out. I heard a lot of good things about Pumpkin Jack, and I didn't have a chance. Yeah, Jack Slur 1 uh, actually has run that a few times here on the Games Network channel. Did that on Hotfix and did an amazing job. Uh, and it's also a very good game because there's a lot of lamps and orbs in that game. Just putting that out there. Uh, <laughs> if anyone likes GDQ memes, there are a lot of lamps and orbs in Pumpkin Jack. Let's, let's just say that right now. All right, you want me to heal the full? You got it. I'm already healed the full. Just kidding. Aha! That was time I could have saved if I was just paying attention. I heard that the crystal run was all right. Yep, same with Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I heard that the Yu-Gi-Oh run was... was great for most people. Who? Who? Am I am I getting the two shot because I'm over leveled? Ah! 
You know, if anyone's listening to this on YouTube right now, just randomly comment on this video with just your favorite game that from this past AGDQ. No other context. Just put the game name and that's it. That'll really confuse our uh, YouTube manager. <laughs> he'll, be, he'll be like, what are all these comments? <laughs> with just random games. No, oh, no, that was right. That was right. All right, so if anyone's wondering, no, Scyther isn't going to use the choice specs. It's just faster to swap items that way. I, I think, I don't think there's a single blindfolded run that wasn't worth watching. All, all, the, all the blindfolded runs this event were really, really good. Balthrock. Next special attack. Sandstorm. That's a... This. Put your DDDs in chat. You. Three. I gotta heal confusion. Healed. Brick room should be up. Oh, we just surf. Oh yeah, also everyone press F for ADEF. Or ADEF. <laughs> uh, if anyone watched our intro to Hotfix show, um, we did, however, see the return of ADEF find that on our YouTube channel. Nah, that's a fake ADEF. That's that's one of the clones that we pulled from back. <laughs> wow, that's so clever. I was I was sitting here like wondering why do we teach stealth rock, but it, it gets rid of uh it gets rid of sturdy when when all these mons come out. That's that's pretty smart. I've never seen stealth rock used in a speedrun before. Pretty neat. Alright, six badges. We're making all right progress. Very good. Just getting a bunch of items here. We gotta run to the library real quick for a cutscene. That cutscene's gonna be when Team Galactic decides to, you know, bomb the lakes they're looking for they're looking for the three legendary pokemon in the lakes for you know plot purposes and whatnot and something you might have noticed uh i I've, i haven't done this every time like i've kind of messed up a couple of times just out of panic more than anything but you'll, you'll notice that i tend to wait to combine a bunch of menus that way we save time on using menus so like we're not going to be using the Printflop in slot one from here. We need Scyther in slot one, but we're going to wait until we do all of this stuff. That way we can do our, our repel, our healing, our fly, and all of that in one go. Just the tiny little optimizations that come with any of these like RPG style games. I don't understand Barry's hair. He's got like permanent bedhead. EFS, hurry along. All right. Yeah, because the there game. is how to train a speedrunner after this with uh, Oracle. Yeah, the game that Hobbs and I so were going to do today until we both started <laughs> dying. <laughs>
Yeah, don't forget, folks. The first step is every Thursday, and assuming the Hobbs and I are feeling better by next week, um, you you will get to see you will get to see the both of us actually tackle Oracle of Seasons. I don't know if I'm supposed to heal. You know, the oh, real strategy is both of you can actually just watch How to Train a Speedrunner tonight or on YouTube, and then next week you'll be well equipped to run. Mm -hmm. DGH runs a lot of 2D Zelda games. DGH is a great. Yeah. That people think that I hate. <laughs> you think right. You suck, Teach. I'm kidding. But we also love them at the same time. The last tile! Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't have repels left, so I was yoling five tiles of grass, and of course, the very last tile. Of course. All right, well, you know what? That's fine. Because watch this, I don't have to wait for this spinner, because we hit her already. Ha ha. Take that. Calculated. That's why I hit the spinner early. Promise. Actually, getting off my arc. So that in there. That was weird. Okay, I did not tell you to go. My thumb must have been in a weird spot. Okay. I did not want to get on my bike. All right, you know what? More experience. Yes. On a mon, I want to see him. What is a mon you want to see on your screen? Something that dies to wing attack in one wing attack and not okay. two. Yes. There, like this. I can't believe I got on my bike and my bike's, like, bell turned his attention towards me. <laughs> you know, I mean, if you could hear, a bell might turn his attention. <laughs> yeah, he just turned your head just like, what is, what is that? <laughs> Okay, let's let's pretend like that didn't happen. Ahem. <clears throat> All right. I just realized Command Commander Saturn basically has like a cleaner version of Barry's haircut, the permanent bedhead, except styled. Scyther reached level 37. I don't think we're supposed to be 36 yet. <laughs> okay. That's why you picked this route anyways, because it's not as uh, worrying on XP routing like the other one. Yeah! Yeah, if we were on the Kadabra route, I'd be ruined. <laughs> I would be so ruined. That'd be so bad. Toxicrook's such a cool-looking Pokemon. Game, it's fighting and and poison. It sees a psychic move and it just dissolves. Alrighty. That's one lake. We're gonna go to the Lake Verity. Your twin leaf. I can't wait to get an encounter in the grass, though. It sounds like something that'll happen to me. Or not grass, the water. I don't have a repel. Alright, so the notes say wing attack slash bubble beam, but it doesn't specify, so I'm just gonna mash and assume that's what's supposed to happen. That is, that is my guess. 
I, I hope, I hope you can make it through. I believe in that. Okay, I didn't notice a question in chat. Why would keys be ruined on the other route? So the Kadabra is a traded Pokemon, so uh, you can you can run into disobedience. So with all the extra experience and levels that we're getting, Kadabra would disobey me so often. That's awkward. Ouch. They're doing a good job of beating me up. Yeah, but you're gonna do a better job at beating me. I sure am trying. So this fight should have been done already, but we missed a range. I didn't even realize it was a range. Okay. Our Scyther doesn't have the greatest attack. We have 15 attack. If 15 IV neutral attack. Literally What's the most number? average number you can have. What's a good number here? I know nothing about Pokemon. Well, so IVs are stats between 0 to 31. So the higher the number, the better the growth. But we are literally smack dab in the middle at 15. I feel like you're not supposed to evolve yet, but... <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> How over-leveled did I get? <laughs> you're just very prepared for Wants to learn game. Aqua Jet. Do you, do you, aqua Jet. Do not teach. Golly. Um... That, that was... That's a journey. Heal to full-ish. Right. This. If I get an encounter in the water for the, like, second and a half, I'm in it. I did it! No encounter! Lucky, lucky, lucky. My Scyther should easily outspeed, especially since I'm overleveled, so I'm not concerned. X defense. Poison Fang. Towards Dance. What? Towards dance. My God, stop poisoning me. Oh, my God, I, I think I'm getting incredibly unlucky right now, actually. can stop, you know. It doesn't poison every time. Apparently it does! <laughs> what is this? Golly! Okay, so I do have to heal before this per ugly. It'll hurt me. 
We are running low on healing items because this is going south. That hurt my feelings. Okay, that fight felt like more of a chore than it was supposed to be, but here we are. You made it through, though. I made it through. That's one of the most important things, and now that fight's done, this really gives chat the perfect time to follow twitch.tv slash keysrun. That's me! Yeah. You do a lot of cool things on your stream. Sometimes, yeah! Okay, I've actually, I'm gonna be honest, I've never approached, uh... I've never approached Mount Coronet from this side. I've always approached it from the left, so this is going to be interesting. Don't, I don't actually know if I'm going to hit any optional trainers, but I'm, I'm just following the notes. Buy some full heals, but you fun. Max super repel. Oh my god. All right, well. It said max. A lot of money. All right, heal the full. Super repel. Whip cherry berry. I don't want to hit anyone I'm not supposed to. Okay, you know what? I took the absolute worst possible way to get through this, but you know what? It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's for the content. It's for the co Oh my god, just get in the... You did it. Yeah, speaking of content, people might be wondering, hey Richard, do you stream? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, three days a week, you can find me at twitch.tv slash games done quick. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Let me out! Grab the rare candy behind the rock smash rocks. I'm gonna guess that's this. I did it. All right, grab the rare candy and the rock in fog room. Oh. Now what? We're just gonna. Do you need a rare candy? Uh, I, I don't <laughs> think it's for the scyther. <laughs> rock. You know what? <laughs> this is why I'm glad I have 5 million repels. Like you have so many extra levels at this point. That's an ultra ball. I don't know where this rare candy is. Gotta be honest. It's okay. I think we'll it'll be fine. We'll find it. There it is. <laughs> ultra ball. This is why the notes recommend to read the notes alongside studying an <laughs> actual around. run. Don't do what I'm doing. Be smarter about it. You know what? Someone says that you're dedicated. They can't uh, sit down for longer than an hour. That's why we take breaks here on the first yeah. step. You know, it's very important to uh, put your wellness before anything else you know if you need to get up you know do a segmented run that's completely fine like you know if if you lose like a little bit of time here and there just you need to get up and stretch it's, it doesn't matter at the end of the day like you are a lot more important than the uh the video game as a whole so be sure oh, to you care light yourself. Screen. you're so kind thank you thank you 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 could have you could have electrified me, but you instead chose, chose peace. Thank you, friend. And I didn't get staticed. Oh, how fortunate. Yeah, fr friendly reminder. Um, 
Both Hobbs and I have had records in games that we've ran, and we we both can't emphasize enough. I'm speaking for you, Hobbs, by the way, but uh, we can't emphasize enough. Like, just doing as much as you can when you can does make a difference. Whether it's you know you only have an hour because work or school, and that's all your free time to learn, or whether you're like taking little pieces and practicing them over and over. Once you piece it together, like it, it's going to make a big difference. All right. Apologies to, to any bitrate enthusiasts, because this is not this is not a friendly part. It doesn't look very friendly because you're just walking through snow. Yeah, it's it's and cold. I had to do that last week. is is not fun. It's cold back here. I almost slipped on my stairs the other day too. That was scary. But... And right, equip the metronome if you equip the cherry berry. Got it. Heal if needed. I'm gonna guess I don't need damage. Ah, uh, she scares me. <laughs> the cheeks. This is terrifying. That's a counterclockwise running movement. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, oh. Okay. 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 It's get fine. me away from here. Everything is fine. What was there that? No is there. That was terrifying. Goodness. Everything is completely fine. I hate it here. <laughs> I never want to go through that again. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> Yeah, speaking of scary, every other Wednesday here on G2 Hoppix <laughs> is speedruns from the crypt, which uh, primarily focuses on horror games. So, yeah. Yeah. Some scary stuff happening here. All right. So I mentioned the beginning of the stream, but I'll mention it now because it's kind of it's kind of significant here. We are on the current patch of this game, um, as far as I'm aware. We might not be on the current current patch, but we're 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 on we're on the patch that uh, gets rid of the easy way to handle um, handle the upcoming gym. So on older patches, you can actually bypass the ice puzzle completely. It's kind of funny, but I am I am not on that patch, so I have to actually do the puzzle. So I actually have to stare at a screen real quick because I don't remember how to do the puzzle because I never do the puzzle. Oh, this way, this way, here, all right, here, 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 up, right, this way, This way. Can't believe I, I'm I'm an older patch cheater, so I don't know how to do the puzzle. Because you can just you can just go on the left side and just kind of force your way up because of diagonal movement. It's kind of funny. You know, I have a question for chat. How long did it take uh, everyone in chat if uh, if you played through this game? Uh, how long did it take you to get through this chat? This way. All right, that'll do. We did it. Oh, totally fast. <laughs> I have not done that puzzle in ages. I'm almost saying the real gym leader is the floor, which I mean. I agree. Not, not wrong. You're not wrong there. I agree. Yeah. So if you're if you're in the column that's to the left of me, like you can you can go from there from the start of the gym. And literally just hold diagonal against the staircase until you just zip up in older patches. All right, the notes tell me heal is needed. Got it. All right. We're going to defend with an X soon. 
go. X defends. Avalanche hurts. X speed. Right, gonna heal. Missed. You you went for missed when you could have killed me. All right. Swords dance. Oh, okay. I just want to point something out. Let Prin Plup evolve after this fight. <laughs> Uh, that was like 45 minutes ago? That was a while <laughs> ago. <laughs> Maybe 30 minutes ago. Maybe enough. That 45. was a while ago. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're just following the guide, but you're reading right. ahead. I learned X scissor. There's nothing you're wrong not with X scissor. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's a search for all. I have to control F planet. so much. This is ridiculous. <laughs> that's so silly. <laughs> It'll be funny when you get to a move that you don't actually have. Like, yeah, and I, I, I just like even instinctively like, to. oh yeah, I haven't had to learn anything, and it's like really important. Learn this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, easy gym. Seven badges. We're doing it. Heal if under 50%. Yeah? <laughs> no way. <laughs> All right, so we have one badge left before we can go to the Elite Four, but we do have the whole, you know, dealing with, uh, dealing with the Galactic Grunts. Right. How much easier does the leave? <laughs> yeah, that same that same column that I was in, you can you can push that in older patches and just diagonal your way up. It's it's so silly. Who needs puzzles when you can just use the power of eight directions? All right, so Barry kind of lost horribly. Jupiter kind of makes fun of him for it. Barry's feelings are now hurt, unfortunately. Maybe if he combed his hair, you know. All right, heal of under 50%. Yeah. Unzo. All right, so now we're going to the Galactic Grunt Headquarters. Grunt, the Galactic Headquarters. I only said Grunt because this guy's here. He says he doesn't know anything about a storage key as he runs away and drops a storage key. Probably the most incompetent person I've ever seen on a villain team. That isn't named Jesse and James. Wow. That's harsh. Harsh but true. I need... Mean... <laughs> okay, I'm probably gonna hit like two or three option containers here. I don't, I don't know. You're a spinner. Yes. Aha. You're required. Should have a dust ox, right? If you lead a dust ox, then I was correct. Should have two pokes, a dust ox, and a bronzor. Yeah. You'll never guess what move we use on Dust Ox. Is it um, not a wing attack? Incorrect. It is indeed wing attack. All right, I, I mean, I had a 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
That bronze ore is apparently a range, but I would imagine at my level it no longer matters. Take the left teleporter. This isn't the game for it, but since we're here, I just want to say... Just one time. I have to get one of those in there for here. Hello? For J-Hobs. Yeah, okay, for just being able to under the weather. Again, want to thank Hobbs for being here for that first hour. Yeah, you got to witness me dying to a crit. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to follow the other host of this show, go to twitch.tv slash jhobbs296. I think Hobbs has said before, if you Google jhobbs, you basically get everything you need to <laughs> Yeah. I'm I'm so used to doing randomizers of this that seeing like some of these lower echelon Pokemon kind of throws me off. I I forgot that this scientist had two Kadabras. So that's it for the Galactic Warehouse. Now we're going to make it into the headquarters after we pick up this key. The key to success. It's interesting the warehouse is galactic and the headquarters is galactic. Everything's galactic. If you want to if you want to see things that are out of this world, GDQ Hotfix is every day here on the Games of <laughs> <Twitch> channel. <laughs> what a throw! <laughs> what a transition! <laughs> Hey, I didn't get on my bike only to get off of it immediately. I'm learning. See, look, all you have to do is get more comfortable with the game. I still don't know yeah, how to enter chat? a door, but this is this is all in the span of one run, too. You can see the improvement as keys goes throughout the game. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> we help. You know. Turn, let's, buddy. Turn. Let's just not talk about that. Yeah. Fine. I can't believe that just happened. All right, luckily for me, we're running low on wing attacks, but luckily for us, we're going to get a free heal immediately after this fight. <coughs> Kind of incredible how often you have like pretty accessible heals. Because there's a one guy that's in that like hotel area that you pass like 400 times. A free bed here. Your double. Whenever you have a double partner, you get free heals. Or a companion rather. Okay, turn, buddy. I believe. Turn. 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 I turn. So can you. Look that way. See the way I'm looking? Hello? Are you kidding? Friend? Um? <laughs> what is this? He's actually not moving. <laughs> this is a bastard. I'm fighting him. Sour grunt here. My goodness, Incredible. I'm so upset. Incredible. Nicely done, Keys. You just passed it. I'm so I, upset. You love to see it. You love to see that. That was ridiculous. That was so good. Why wouldn't he move? Um, I think this one's a double. It would have been faster to just fight him at that point. That was ridiculous. <laughs> he tried to juke me out too. As soon as we passed him, he turned back like <laughs> yeah. a jerk. What a jerk. 
So they don't turn on a timer? Is it just RNG? I, from what I can tell, uh, an experienced runner could probably tell you for sure, but just in my experience, it's completely lucky. You know, speaking of RNG, random number generation. Every other Tuesday, <laughs> 7 p.m. Eastern. And play the Twitch channel. I can't believe he literally just sat there for almost a whole minute. Yeah, the hardest part of this run spin. is going past him. <laughs> Holly. Just ask for a revision in the notes, be like. Yeah. <laughs> Don't grow old watching this. Just, just pass it if, if you start, <laughs> start aging. If you feel your back is slowly starting to give out, now is the time to fight. And don't go on swing sets. Don't go on swing sets. Don't go on swing sets. Swing sets are dangerous. Swing sets will destroy your back, chat. Be very careful. <laughs> Fell off a swing set and broke a vertebrae. Don't make that same mistake. It's hard to hug your friends when that happens. Cannot believe. That's how rude that one spinner was. It's not going to be my mistakes and my constant hitting optional trainers that, that's going to make me go overestimate. No, it's going to be that. Don't wing attack. That's rude. Don't wing attack? Did you just say don't wing attack? I, I, I didn't want to get wing attacked. You see. Oh. Alas, here we are. weird about this segment is you would think that Cyrus would be the last person you fight here, but we have one more fight after this before we get to actually make our way towards Dialga. <laughs> Heal if under 50% HP. Well, you see notes. <laughs> Heal real quick because we are in, in great pain. Gonna get stuck on every possible corner known to man. You might even find some new corners that nobody knew about. <laughs> Is it? Wait, hold on. Leave the Galactic Headquarters and fly to Orborg. Head north and once inside Mount Corne, heal the full. Rare candy once to 43. About that. About that. I, I don't... <laughs> I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> I, I, th I think we'll be fine after this fight. That's what, I, that's what I was wondering. When you were looking for that rare candy, I'm like, I'm pretty sure you've... Uh, <laughs> you're set. Am I barely knock it? Am I gonna have to use a rare candy to to get to 43 when I'm like an inch away from it? Like, come on, no, don't do this to me. Not like this.
Will Toxicroak give me enough experience? It will. I think I have to actually rare candy for a, a, a pitiful <laughs> amount of experience. Sorry. It's right. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> All that extra experience for nothing. <laughs> That's silly. It's okay. I should just accidentally run into another optional. I think that'll take a lot longer. Like a lot yeah. longer. Yeah, you're right. You know, I probably wouldn't have needed that candy if I just fought the guy that was stuck for three minutes. Heal the full. Yep. Use my rare candy to get to 43. Following the notes. Look at me go. Oh, super repel up. What am I doing? Alright. Bike. Get to Orberg. I wasn't supposed to repel quite yet. We have five million repel. I'll we'll be fine. Five million? Five million. Did you buy that many? Technically? I, I, I... Not this again. Okay, come on. Come on. Thank you. Well done. I did it. You did it. Finally. Greatness has been achieved. There's a rare candy that I'm supposed to grab in the last outdoor section on the rock in the grass. I don't actually know where that one is. This this is going to be a hunt. You don't need it. It's Grab the ether from the rock between the two spinner grunts. Okay, well, once I get there. How how did that not count as going inside? <laughs> it's okay. The spinner grunts. It. My gosh. This That's a super repel. I'm trying to find this ether you're talking about. <laughs> All right. Don't worry. About hey, it. look, an optional. <laughs> Which one's it? Where is it? What ether? What ether are you talking about? <laughs> Grab the ether from the rock between the two spinner grunts. Might not be here. It might be the next room. I'm a try. I like how it just, it just says, you know, the rock, as if there aren't many rocks. I'm so terrified. <laughs> okay, we're we're, we're gonna we're gonna take a break. We're gonna take a break really soon. I just want to get to a spot that's you know less this. <laughs> Okay, it's a backup. It says it's not required. So if no. I don't find this ether, then you know what? You don't need it. I don't need it. You I'm not, never needed I'm any not a coward. I'm not a coward. It's probably in here, actually. No, about it. <laughs> I hit that optional for nothing. I take a break after I beat dinner. I'm upset. <laughs> a jerk. What a jerk. What a jerk. I'm upset.
man. <laughs> I just like to, to, you know, take the time and just say, he's rock. Thanks. Am I right? Am I right, chat? Yeah, he's rock. He's rock. What was the point in that candy? I could have saved it this whole time. All right, we're taking a break in three, two, one, pause. We'll be back in a few minutes, folks. It's another wellness break. It's gonna be the last break of this show. We'll see you all in a few minutes. Hello, everybody. Welcome back from the break. We're gonna get started pretty much right away. Just wanna remind everyone that we do have how to train a speedrunner coming on immediately after I go over estimate. <laughs> And uh, don't forget uh, gamesandquick.com slash hotfix if you want information on more of our wonderful hotfix content. We are on every day of the week, pretty much, either 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, or 1 p.m. Eastern and a.m. Pacific on the weekends. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and start in three, two, one, go. I need to heal immediately. Can't believe I've hit every optional known to man. Okay, there's a rare candy in the last outdoor section on the rock in the grass. I don't even know what that one is. We're gonna hope that I can figure out where that is. Rock in the grass. That thing? Wait, wait, how do I, is it this? Tiny mushroom, nope, not that one. Oh my goodness. Okay, this rock, right? Wait, do I have to? I guess I have to. I, 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 it's so deceptive. It looks like it's part of the. I have to rock climb to it, I guess. All right, you know what? Promising start. I'm going to guess this is the rare candy. I did it. All right. Hopefully, nice. I don't have to pick up any more rare candies. God knows Scyther doesn't need it. Man. Why is there a tiny mushroom here? I don't understand that. What a weird place for a mushroom. It's snowing and horribly cold here. I mean, don't mushrooms sometimes grow in cold climates? I don't know. I lived in Alaska for five years. You'd think I'd know that, but maybe, maybe mushrooms don't grow in Alaska. I don't know. Can someone confirm? What type of climate is suitable for mushroom cultivation? From, from Google, let's see. The most suitable temperature. Uh, okay, it says Celsius. Uh, oh, 24 that, to 25 degrees Celsius. I don't that, that doesn't help us that are that's using freedom warm, right? units. I'm pretty sure that's warm. That, that's pretty warm, yeah. That's what, like, 70s? Not zero, where it's snowing. Yeah. How's there a mushroom here? I want answers. Okay. The good news is none of these fights should be an issue for me. Well, yet. They sure like using Bronzor a lot, just realized. All right, we don't have to heal. That's good. There's some time save for us yet. I'm trying to schmooze. I'm trying to go. I want to beat this. Okay. We have to fight this trainer, so it's not like that was a bad thing. It's just I did not turn to the right nearly as fast as I thought I did. Gotta get a swords dance off. Imagine getting bit by a bat like this. That's a big mouth to get bit by. I like it.
All right. We can attack the Glam Meow. Got a wing attack the Bronzor because we're going to die to a wing attack. Thief would have killed it too, but okay. Ah, yes. Do not teach Whirlpool. That thing that I did not teach like 18 fights ago. I can't wait until we main swap and I can finally like <laughs> be caught up. Attack the dust stocks. Bubble beef. Are you? My Empoleon has friendship activated. I have so many extra levels that something that isn't supposed to happen has happened. Speaking Empoleon, of friendship, no. First step here every Thursday. Um, you won't see that any friendship here, but <laughs> I just wanted to say TFS is every Thursday at 7 p.m. Speaking of friends, what's the complete opposite of that? <laughs> Racing your mortal enemy on the grand stage. <laughs> Can't believe my Empoleon has friendship. That's so, I'm so over level. All right, so this this is going to be rough. This, this this next section is going to be a little rough. We're running forward. I'm going to save after this cutscene. Empoleon is going to be slot one. Up time. If you're in Twitch chat, up time. Oh. One obnoxious fight and then one potentially threatening fight that we're gonna do after this cutscene. Add it. Walk you around. I should have named Barry Hops because at this point in time we're gonna do stuff that like knocks out Barry's Pokemon even though he's on our side. So that sounds exactly like are, are he's you insulting in Hops. Hobbs's haircut. It, it, yes, that's wow. exactly what I'm doing. Wow. Special attack. Gotta do that three times. Good job, Munchlax. Heal powder. Good to be good from here. All right, now we just spam surf. Bye, Munchlax. Bye, teammate.
Bye, teammate. <laughs> There's no mercy. You know, speaking of mercy kill, every other Wednesday, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern, you get to see Rusty speed runs. See if uh, the runner or the timer wins. Who needs teammates? We have a very strong Empoleon. Bye, teammate. Easy fight. No, no one survived. got Cyrus and then after Cyrus we're gonna try to zoom as fast as we can I don't think I'm gonna be at the four hour mark for this but like like I mentioned throughout this whole time this is the first time that I've attempted playing this game in in a fast manner these notes have been really good I just have not been good but that is that is expected when you're doing your first speed run of a game ever You'll always improve after multiple playthroughs. And, yeah. Uh, any speedrunner will tell you the, the second run that you do when you get all golds, the uh, the satisfaction that you get when you get to see all those golds on your second run is uh, a sight to behold. I thought Dialga is just kind of staring. Literally just sitting there. You know, not to promote violence or anything, but he could have just stepped on Cyrus like this whole time. He got to step forward a couple of steps to be done. He is bigger. All right, so I know everyone's probably like, oh, man, Napoleon did such a good job. Napoleon's going to be the truth from here on out. We're just gonna surf a couple of times. Or not? He can withdraw? Notes? <laughs> notes? What do the notes say here, Keith? Nothing about that! <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. That's not good. <laughs> You know, it's always good as you're doing your first run, you can write notes alongside these other notes so that when you do future runs, you'll know what what to do when uh, you run into things like uh, like what we're, we're running. That's attack. Ouch. That's attack. Heal. I gotta X speed. Heal again. As long as your Quick Claw doesn't activate. Good. This Crobat has Quick Claw, by the way. The fa one of the fastest Pokemon in the history of the universe, and it, it, he put a Quick Claw on him. The history of the universe? The history of the universe. Wow, that is a lot. The entire universe, the whole thing. There's a lot of universe out there. Yeah. Now 
There, we did it. Go, Scyther. Go, team. Okay, that's, I think that's like the scariest fight we have to worry about for the next foreseeable future. That's good. Now here's hoping my Dialga isn't bad. Uh, what do the notes say if you get the worst possible one? Uh, probably cry in, in very dark text that you can't see. Oh. That's so good. Go Master Ball! Hooray! Nicely done. That was, a, that was a hard journey there, but we sure did it. Didn't know if you were going to catch that one with the Master Ball. Yeah, it was, it was tough. Very difficult. Very, very difficult indeed. 100% of the time, you catch it 100% of the time. I'm looking at this Dialga's like stat spread for like figuring out the calculations of what its stats are, and there there are a lot of numbers. You know, Chad, right. if you like numbers, seven and one, those are the numbers you want to remember. Seven p.m. and one p.m. Weekdays, weekends. Box and Foley. I'll get a spot one. The heck? Each flamethrower over ancient power. Okay, this is where I'm gonna. I apparently have max that. Uh, one seventy one, one ten, one hundred. How are those numbers? I have a mild. Dialga with max attack, defense, and HP, and really, really good everything else. This is a really good Dialga. You bet it's wasted on me. Good job. Dragon Claw over Splash. Ape Rope. Really, 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 really good Dialga. Anyone who's actually doing real runs of this is upset at me. It's okay. Aha! Don't need to stop for that spinner. Child, please turn. Child, please turn. Child. Not this again. We've determined that things don't turn in this game as often as we No, think. they they really <laughs> don't. <laughs> All right, it's okay. Oh, you use an X attack. Interesting. The first fight that we use this uber Pokemon, this this legendary po the, the the creator of time. Pokemon created time. He he controls it. What? Yep. Wow. Oh. Okay. Nice one damage. Now we just mash. You know how we were doing like mash wing attack? Now we're just gonna mash dragon move over and over and over. Oh yeah, Scyther's still in our party. I think it's supposed to be.
Yeah, box and Polian. It says nothing about boxing. Scyther Scyther gets to stay with us forever. What am I doing? Please, just get, <laughs> the get in. The door. Doors are hard. If they made doors just like a few pixels wider in this game, I think you would have saved at least two minutes. Oh, easily. Easily. Hurts my feelings how bad these doors are. Man, I'm looking at these Dialga stats. They're so... We have one more gym in the Elite Four. Also, we have Victory Road. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to make it through in the four hours, but at least we made a pretty solid attempt for a very first try of this game. And that goes to show how much progress you can make, uh, even, you know, with following a guide, because uh, you know, how long would you say your casual playthrough is? Uh, I went really slow, like 20 plus hours. Yeah, you're almost finishing the game in four. Yeah, and like my randomizer runs of this are like six hours usually, so this is this is definitely... Yeah, that was way faster. Yeah. I just used Roar of Time on that poor squirrel. The, the, the gimmick of this gym is just a bunch of, like, cogs that you have to rotate. You got, you got a little puzzle going on here. <clears throat> it's very, very obnoxious because you're going to have to pass a, a few spinners throughout the gym. Flash cannon... Friendly reminder, Mr. Mime is part fairy now. <clears throat> oh, there's so many corners. <laughs> Why? Surreal Why are there so many corners? Uh, I've seen this question pop up a couple of times. It is faster to have the music off, but since this is not an actual, like, real speedrunning attempt here, and we're just showing off that you can play the game fast, even if you've never tried it before, I did not turn off the music just so the stream was a little more enjoyable. Thanks, Keys. Yeah, of course. YOLO. Never punished. Oh boy, Kadabra outspeeds. Oh, okay. For real, for real, no matter how good the Dialga is. Under punch. Oh, 
Neat. It should only take one flamethrower because I have really good special attack. Gonna be honest, I knew the moment that we bought Flamethrower is gonna be for Dialga, but I did not realize that Dialga could learn this. You learn something new every day. Yeah. Did not realize that it could learn Flamethrower. Does not seem like the kind of Pokemon that would. But... Probably gonna look a little weird, but I'm supposed to flash cannon the Steelix even though it's part steel. Assuming I don't hit the spinner, after this fight, we have the gym leader, and then once the gym leader is done, we can make it to Victory Road. I don't know what to do if we hit the spinner. I don't see anything about it. I think the, I think the notes assume you don't hit the spinner. And the notes assumed correctly. Go me! <laughs> X attack. X speed recommended. Well, I mean, if you recommend it. You know what I recommend is uh, twitch.tv slash keys are on. Everyone ah. go follow keys. Both Hobbs and keys do not plug in their own channels enough. They stream all the time. Well... You're most likely going to use Fake Out. This is just as good a time as any to use next speed. Aha! It's so funky to me to see... Dialga, you know, the, the god of time, and his lovely companion, Scyther. The bug. Is that, he has a pet bug. There was a good electric gym, this, with such amazing electric Pokemon like Ambipom and Octillery. We did it. We got all the badges. Nice. The bacon badge. All we have left is Victory Road and Elite Four. Now, Victory Road is kind of long, which is why I said we're not going to make it, but we're going to get close. A 
Also, Jasmine's here for some reason. Navigate this. Grab the max elixir hidden in the rock behind the trainer you just fought after the next fight. There's a max elixir? <laughs> huh. Neat. And now you know. Now I know. this until I actually just like paid a little more attention. This trainer is kind of neat because Mantike doesn't evolve unless you have a Remoraid in your party. Then it evolves into Mantine. And he has all three of them. Mantike, Remoraid, and Mantine. That's neat. You're neat, game. Did it. I somehow avoided all the trainers. I'm absolutely shocked. Elixir hidden in the rock behind the trainer. They're talking about this trainer. So whatever rock is behind her. Max elixir hidden in rock. Aha! Why this this rock made more sense to me. We did it. Nice. Proud of you, Keys. Thanks. You're welcome. Not the boulder I want to push. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, one more dragon claw left, which is perfect. Dragon claw for you. Very good. Flame thrower. Oh, 
Flash Cannon. I don't know if you knew this, Richard, but Legendary Pokemon is very good. That's uh, I, I'm going to write that in my own personal <laughs> notes, so uh, when I do decide to do a run of this, uh, I will keep that in mind. If, if I decide to do it. Am I stuck? Okay, chat would rather watch you do a second run of this than watch me do a, a first run of this. Well, you, you were here for this whole run. You know what mistakes not to make. <laughs> I'm making a big mistake this weekend, Keith. I'm doing a Final Fantasy <laughs> 10 race. Oh. Or why? <laughs> Okay. You say so. I trust you. Heal if red HP. Have we even taken damage? Grab the hidden rare candy in the wall if your Dialga is minus special attack nature. Hey, I'm not. Good. I don't know where the heck that is. Here, you know what? I, I healed my six damage. You can do it. Oh, come on, bike. Oh, please. So anyone who hasn't seen any of the menu I've been doing, or like have been half paying attention or whatever, so we moved the choice specs onto my Dialga. So, Flash Cannon choice specs, pretty, pretty strong combo here. Anyone who doesn't know how choice items work, they give you boosts, but you can only use one boost. So, like, Choice Specs gives you a boost for your special attacks, but I can only use the first move I select. Uh, choice Band is the same thing except physical, and Choice Scarf is for speed. I got off my bike. <laughs> or why? Why did I do that? <laughs> Heal if in red HP. joke. <laughs> For once, I'm not taking damage. It's great. That's good. This is what we like to hear. This is what we like to hear. I guess that's the benefits of uh, those stats that you have. Yeah. Absolutely ridiculously strong. <laughs> um? Okay, you know what? Sorry, chat. No longer glitchless. <laughs> uh... That wasn't supposed to happen. Uh... Wait, I need this item anyway. Hold on. Dragon Pulse TM. Where? Right here? Gotta be honest, I don't know where this Dragon Pulse TM is. Down the waterfall before the trainer. This isn't right, is it? Hey, I found a rare candy. <laughs> this nice. is not you right. You need that, right? Right? What the heck is this TM? 
Uh, probably over at twitch.tv slash Keyseron. If you go to that, I think you can find it there. Chat, you might be able to help. Press the follow button or subscribe button Here, over I'm, there. I'm fighting this trainer, so it's no longer invalid. Because <laughs> I'm supposed <laughs> to be fighting this trainer. There. I, for the people. That was weird. I'm no cheater. I don't know how I did that. Wait, grab the Dragon Pulse TM down to Waterfall. Where? Down the waterfall. A waterfall? Oh, this one. Ah, haha. -ha. <laughs> Don't worry, gang. Not only did I make it glitchless again. Goodness. That was silly. It's okay. I'm just showing everyone what not to do. Again, friendly reminder, these notes assume that you watched a run, and we are doing our first run, and I didn't watch a single run prior to this. Oh, oops. Uh, teach Dragon Pulse. Over Dragon Claw. believe I glitched. Let's not think about that. You definitely didn't. Yeah, yeah, that I definitely didn't. didn't. Right. No one saw it. Exactly. Me glitch never. Spoon feeding me. Pentacruel could have done damage. Golem could have earthquaked. I need seven dragon pulses for Barry. So we have. Seven more fights left. Still not going to be under four hours, but it's close.
Six more fights. We're very close. the animations stopped and start surf or any of those field moves i thought i kept going look gang we did it we made it to the elite four buy two revives My max full restores. Stealth Rock. Her roar of time. Heal down full, which I'm pretty far. Yep. Swap items. Nothing about healing, but I'm scared, so I'm gonna heal. I need another X special. I'll write in for you uh, a note that Thanks. says don't heal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can X special attack. Now we just spam dragon. Alright chat, question for you. Who here thought that we wouldn't use Scyther ever again? Good fight. Good fight. We have five fights left. The Elite Four and everyone's favorite champion. All right, as I was saying, anyone was disappointed that Scyther was done. Scyther is not done.
I can't believe our boy Scyther gets to be used one more time. Good old Scyther. Good old Scyther. Let's see, we lead a swords dance. Of course we do. All restore. You'll never guess what move we use. Uh, uh, not wing attack. Darn, you guessed wrong again. That was, Who'd have thought? That was close. That was close. Yeah, imagine, imagine being a, a, a trainer in the Elite Four and using bugs. Can't be me. Oh no, I can't eat my berry. Easy peasy. All right. Everyone say bye to Scyther. Bye, Scyther did its job again. We're going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to save before this fight because this is the ground person and we are part steel. Play that safe. The notes say heal is needed. Needed. That is we a very don't need required it. word. Are you sure you don't need it? We don't need it. But the the note the notes. We won't need it. Special attack. Health rock. It crit me. That's rude. All right. See, that's why we saved. See, we don't need heal when we're dead. You see. <laughs> that's I don't, that's, not that's that works, three but... deaths to crits we've had, by the way. Unlucky. I sure wish that this loaded faster. Gives chat a good opportunity. Go to twitch.tv slash keyzeron. <laughs> Give him a follow. I'll even type that out in chat. All right, th this time we won't get crit for like the 30th time because that keeps happening. Defense. Special attack. Stealth rock. don't think we actually need to heal at this point, but I'm just going to to be safe.
pretty sure from here we would win. Uh, it doesn't say anything about Aura Sphere, so I'm gonna... no. to get rid of Sturdy and, and Focus Sash is really, really, really smart. I, I can't emphasize that enough. I really like that strategy. fights. We're close to done. Good opportunity while Keys is doing this menuing here. I do want to remind everyone, the first step is going to be back next week with, hopefully, uh, The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. But we will actually be having that uh, later tonight as well on How to Train Speedrunning. Yeah! Excellent show with an all-right person who's going to be showing you how to run. EGH. Might have heard of him. This fight should be done already. Rare candy if you picked it up earlier. If hey, you picked it I up earlier. That's picked, you. I accidentally picked one up. Excellent. That's, you. that's me. <laughs> I forgot the Drifloom is far flying, so actually seeing all that damage from Elthrock was kind of kind of a shock. Yeah, so the Stealth Rock is gonna get rid of the focus sash here, so same thing like how it's been getting rid of Sturdy, so Stealth Rock is such a smart strategy. That's so clever. I'm I'm still just like in awe. It, it, it's so simple, but it's so good. Can you remind us who made these hands, Cam? Yeah, so, uh, Corvime, another Pokemon runner, uh, you might have seen her in some, uh, some Frame Fatale stuff. But, uh, Corvime made these awesome, awesome notes, really interactive notes, too, because of the whole having a calculator to the right. All right, heal the all get a full. Use this rare candy that you accidentally picked up. Yeah. 
Yeah, Koruma and Echi both combine to work on this particular Scyther route, and it's, it's a pretty fun beginner route for sure, because you don't really have to think about too much. Definitely been an easy pickup experience for me so far. X special defense. X speed. X special attack. We're going to do that three times. We got two more to go. Is that a crit? Or was? Two. Three. Cautious because I can trust this. I'm going to go ahead and heal. I just spam flash cannon for the rest of this. Other than when the bronze on comes out. It's so exciting. I, I haven't done a vanilla speedrun of this yet. We're almost done. You think you will do one in the future? Possibly. Like Possibly. We, we will see. I still got some Ender Lily stuff that I want to take care of first. Yeah, if anyone out there likes Metroidvanias, be sure to check out Keys' stream. Check out Ender Lilies on that stream. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of people that are probably like, how is he going to beat uh, Cynthia? Because Cynthia is like one of the hardest trainers of all time. Yes, she is very difficult, but don't worry, I have a plan. But I am going to save to be safe. <laughs> This song is a banger, though. X special defense. Speed. Special attack. X special attack. All right. That should actually just be the W. From there, it should, it should be done. I should be good to go. It's literally just spam Dragon Pulse from here. Seems easy. 
you in chat, you too can learn this game and follow the guide. Yeah. And it's recommended to watch it run alongside the guide first, but you can see that Keys managed to finish the game without it, without, without watching the whole video before. All right, so time is going to be when we like get into the Hall of Fame and all that stuff. So we still got a little bit of mashing to go, but we're, that was the last fight. Somehow, some way, the worst fight in this entire Elite Four was the second fight. Congrats. Thanks. Feels good to complete a run for the first time. Oh yeah, see, it, just like that, folks, um, we we usually do this show in a slightly different format. Usually Hobbs and I will play a game for about eight hours or so on our own free time, uh, on our own streams, and take whatever knowledge we get from our first playthrough and apply it in a semi-improv race. Uh, see who can play it faster, who came up with better strats without any notes, like any any help at all. We just figure it out on our own. Sometimes we do purely improv races where we've never ever touched the game before and we're playing it for the first time on the show. Um, this is another way you can get into speedrunning. Just take a game that you know um, on a casual level, grab a set of notes, and uh, try to go through it fast. Uh, fastest time of this is definitely a lot faster than what I did, but I'm, I'm pretty proud of it for a first run. The time's gonna come up as soon as this green here fades to black. And time. Four Hooray! We Nicely done, Keith. did it. Thank you, thank you. Once again, these notes were made by a Corvime. Really, really awesome runner. Really, really good set of notes, too. Um, if you ever want to pick up a Pokemon speedrun, uh, go to the SRC pages and there's links to the discords. There's notes everywhere. Everyone's super helpful. And uh, yeah, if you want to learn how to run a different game, then uh, we have how to train a speedrunner coming up next. And you can learn how to speedrun Oracle of Seasons, which is a game that Hobbs and I, assuming we're both no which longer dying. Been the same game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it would have been it would have been Oracle of Seasons all day today, but uh, you know. Hopefully Hobbs feels better, hopefully I start feeling better, and hopefully next week uh, you'll see us do our traditional first step format and race that. But um, yeah, uh, before before I send it off uh, Church's way, uh, just a quick friendly reminder to everyone that um, we do have other Hopix content besides what's going on today. Don't forget, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, every weekday, 1 p.m. Eastern, every weekend if you ever want to figure out more about the shows go to gamesdonequick.com slash hotfix be sure to go to our youtube channel youtube.com slash gamesdonequick and you can see vods of these past hotfix episodes usually 24 hours after they air and with that i need a lot of water and a lot of rest so th thank you everyone for for uh swinging by but don't go anywhere we still got more amazing content for you i'll see you all next week